<laughs> and here we go. have anybody on here welcome to another episode of hit the mics with ryan d or as i like to call it three single guys in a garage <laughs> uh, uh, i of course am ryan d yeah yo i'm steve rogers my bad <laughs> that's right today we have a very good friend a very handsome man i do try javier awesome. gonzalez hello everybody how are you welcome welcome welcome, welcome. no, no thank uh, you guys we're, for having me we're on. here live at dodger stadium that's right. <laughs> it's pretty bright out here. Oh my god! How are you, dude? I'm doing great. You know, I I am slightly hungover, but we're gonna make it through this. That's I right. We, have... we celebrated Steve's birthday. It was my birthday. Happy yesterday. birthday, Steve! Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, buddy! It was a good time. I don't have any sound effects. That's what I was supposed god, to do today. Damn it. We don't. Need I'm them. so unprepared today. <laughs> this has been uh, it's been quite the, the, night, well, yeah, the like, nightmare. A little peek behind the scenes like ryan was trying to find some piece or something and he i mean he was having a crisis in his bedroom it was yeah it was, i was pretty epic i'm yeah. still pretty mad about it <laughs> yeah. i'm pretty sure my ex stole my little things <laughs> fucking I, bitch I, I don't think so i think you just lost them no it's her fault dude i'm just blam- <laughs> it, can't, it can't be my fault and nothing's ever your fault that's right fucking that's right, right. just blame everybody else yeah of course <laughs> so, it's sorry. not that you were just hung over and just forgot where you put shit yeah exactly i mean of course so everybody else that's, is fucking my life up that is impossible <laughs> impossible there is no way that that's exactly what happened this is trump's america <laughs> we do things differently now oh my god okay so how are you guys <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Mr. Host man. You gotta ask me some questions. Fucking hey, we got uh we got pretty hammered last night. Yes, we did. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. And we drank one. independent beer like good, honest Americans. Yeah, we did. Uh truly's aren't independent, but whatever. I you, you drink nothing but truly's. I was drink, I was drink. I no, I had I had I had one of the broken skulls. I had the at Mayberry. One point. Speaking of broken skull, can you talk about maybe no cool. let's not no let's not say. yet not okay. even yet not yeah. even yet okay yeah, it's um, way too early <laughs> shut okay. down right away okay well let's start with you uh, i don't know just tell the people what you do for what is it hopped la and uh, so i'm a, a brewer basically play brewing company out in monrovia Ooh. california all the way out there all the way out there all 20 minutes away um and then i'm a uh, beer podcaster for uh hopped la which is a local beer site you know local new, uh, beer news and beer releases beer radars and we have like you know articles you have a whole little staff that's actually you know it's growing yeah uh, that's it's, it's pretty LA cool beer to blog. see yeah sweet um so that's i do that and how long yeah. have you been doing that now because i know you were doing it's it been... like before with somebody else but like how long have you been with hopped so, la now oh hopped la i it was like right at the beginning of the of the year when 2020 was looking like it's gonna be a great fucking year you know i'm getting shit done i remember we went we met up at highland park the twinkle in our eye yeah the new yeah. Year. there was a glimmer of hope <laughs> yeah now it's all been crushed and the only thing we can look forward to is maybe going to the movies in january maybe when a concert's like two years from now yeah oh my god it's gonna be weird but um Shit, I lost my train of thought <laughs> on this hop tangent. la yeah. hop la hop um, you know, we went it? to highland park and uh I had known those guys because I used to work with uh, thefullpint.com, mm-hmm. so the beer website. That's kind of who gave me my my launch, basically my start. Because I before that, I was just doing the podcast. Like I basically would annoy every brewer that would talk to me to you know say hey, like you know I'm doing this podcast, and you know that's sort of what brought me into it. But yeah, you know with Hop Delay, I just met up with them, um, and then that's it. 
What is hop? Hop delays like a, it's a beer blog, basically like a like well, a. Did hub. you just did you miss the beginning of his little speech I, about I, what he did? I wouldn't. No, say, I know, but I like, say it's a hop blog. delay is like like. Well, I'm just I'm saying like, explain <laughs> what the fucking organization is. Fuck you. It's, so it's is, a, is is this how this podcast is? Is it like Steve? Steve Trash you've never listened to us before. A... <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much. Thanks it. for being a friend. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> thank you for being a friend. We've only been doing this for a while now. I've never listened to you guys before. No, nope. we hang out all the time. I, I even, I even, te- I even listened to your episode. Well, I li- uh, the I, one you did. I listen. Well, no, I listened to the one you, you and Megan. Oh, that one. Yeah, listen that one. We support our friends, Javier. Yeah, I actually, I ac- actually asshole. take an interest in what you do. <laughs> hey, I like your Instagram posts. So what do you like from me? <laughs> but you don't even watch yeah, them. Likes like are, them, don't watch likes them. are important, <laughs> motherfucker. It's funny, we'll just hang out. It's like it's something you sent in the group text. Like, oh yeah, that was pretty hilarious. No, what are you guys talking yeah, what about? What are you guys talking about? You sent it like an hour ago yeah. and you oh, yeah. commented on it. You're very good at that. I yeah. smoke a lot. I, I really I truly envy your obliviousness sometimes. <laughs> Trust me, it's uh I'm surprised I've gotten this far. <laughs> Honestly. Like my mom's favorite store, she loves to tell every time she meets someone new, is like so when I was a kid, my mom was at the time, you know, she uh you know, she was wet back straight up. She was illegal. I, my how, dad, how dare you, bro? My bro. dad was a, my dad was already a citizen, but my mom was you know, wet back straight up. Yeah. And then, um, so she was work, you know, working to get her papers and everything. We went to the immigration office. It was packed, and she had me on a leash because <laughs> I was a little fucking maniac. <laughs> I would just take off like as soon as she let me out. Like, All right, fuck you, I'm leaving. Now yeah. I'll just leave. So she had me you in know, this packed you know, office. You see how that still happens to this day? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, come uh, over. We're all gonna hang out, and then Javi's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's not he found, answering texts. He found a calls. shiny. He found a shiny nickel under his bed. Yeah, and, like, yeah. ooh, yeah. Um, but she took me to this office, and you know, this guy I guess gave her shit, and he she took the leash off me, and sure enough, five minutes later, I'm fucking gone. Yeah, she's screaming, freaking out, and she ended up finding me across the street, and like some guy just <laughs> found me. <laughs> How so, did you not get kidnapped? So that's what now? I'm saying. Like, I have no idea how I've made it this far because there have been so many chances. And if, <laughs> if, if there is such a thing as a guardian angel, that motherfucker is exhausted. Yeah. 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 Have you ever been lost in an amusement park? No. 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 You would those, be the first you would be the first person no, to come mind. No. No, I'm not that oblivious. That's those, those things are idiot proof. Everything leads to like um, a certain spots. Sure? Yeah, not really. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. If, if I were a pedophile, I would hang out. <laughs> I would hang out at Disneyland to find loose children. Oh, uh, but see, you can't. You can't do because the second a, a child gets oh, that's lost, right. you worked at Disneyland. Yeah, there's yeah. no way. But like the the weird thing about it was the 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 way they train you. By the way, don't sue me, Disney. Uh, they don't. But no, they train. That's what they train. The mouse is like. listening. They yeah. teach us like, all right, you know, if you find a lost kid that gets crying, you're supposed to like go, okay, you know, I'll, I'll take it to the, to the lost children, and then you're supposed to hold their hand to like comfort them. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it's like you know nowadays, imagine like got you know got you know thirty year old dude holding this little kid's hand, holding the little crying kid's hand that looks yeah. nothing like you. Like, yeah, uh, it's, it's part <laughs> of the job though. Sound like but you guys are all in uniform though. It makes sense. Yeah, I get the name tags. They, they, you know, the kids are trained like. If you if you see a guy with this name, but it's dangerous though because Disneyland sells those two the name tags, yeah. But the, yeah. I mean, they're not the official ones. But you know, to a kid, what the fuck are they gonna know? Yeah. So but anyway, yeah, I've I've been pretty oblivious most of my life. My, my brother got lost in Disneyland. Really, my brother Matt. What happened? Well, he, he didn't get lost. He did what you did. He wandered he off. off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they took him out of the stroller. We went for we went for like his birthday, and I think it was like I think it was three. So it was like his third or fourth <laughs> birthday or something like that. The stroller and he just took. And they took him oh out of the stroller and we, and we were over there. You know, it, 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 we're, I guess it's now it's it's where they do the Star Wars like stage show right there. Oh, I used to. Yeah, it's the Tomorrowland Terrace. Yeah, it, yeah. U- it used to be like a Buzz Lightyear theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, that's where we went to get like uh-huh. get lunch like after Autopia. Right. And uh, there was like always an '80s band like playing. I always like, loved that though. O'clock. I'm fucking. They were good, but they were you really know. good. I'm, I'm bummed out that that doesn't happen anymore. I mean, I guess California Adventure does it a little bit more, but yeah. Well, I mean, they both have. You guys want some ice cream real quick? Yeah. Oh no, my so god, ice cream, fucking guy. Ice cream. He actually <laughs> came into the cul-de-sac. He never does that. Well, hey, business is probably popping now. Kids. Oh, are he's start, probably starving. making a killing oh, right man, now. He's chilling, dude. He's chilling. he's probably making a killing. Man. That's what we were talking about, like. People should just be like having food trucks, just driving around like ice cream men. Oh, you know? dude, like, you know, wh- it would be a lot better if they had like taco men. Like that's that, what I'm saying. Like a, but play, you know, play a jingle, play, <laughs> play whatever they play want. Play like cucaracha. Yeah, I would be so down for that. I wouldn't even be mad. No, hell yeah, not. hell yeah, dude. Drive yeah. by my place. You know, somebody would complain. Out. That's racist. What's racist about it? You know a, what? A Mexican selling okay. tacos. Steve? I didn't say a All Mexican. Right. I just said a dude a, with a taco. A truck. Mexican selling tacos. That is so. So, so inappropriate. All right, uh, uh, you know, 
speaking of that song, I'll tell you a quick inappropriate story from pro wrestling because we're going to talk about wrestling at some point or another. I love it. Uh, Roddy Piper was known for being like the way he got Vince McMahon's attention before he got to WWE was uh, uh, WWF at the time. He had gone to a local promotion out here. I think it was in I think it was like California it was a Texas, but he had um, went on stage and like berated this Mexican crowd. And there is, like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, here's here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do tomorrow or, you know, the next the next show. I'm going to come back. I'm going to learn the Mexican national anthem on the bagpipes. I'm going to learn on the bagpipes. And everyone's like, all right. So the next show, it's sold out. He comes out and plays a cucaracha <laughs> on his bagpipes. <laughs> and people were throwing bottles of piss and shit on him. And Vince McMahon heard about it. I was like, yeah, we need, to, we need to hire that guy. That's great. It's ultimate trolling. Yeah. But, you know. Fuck. Can you imagine? Somebody, racist. Can you imagine if somebody? <laughs> yeah, of course. But, like, it it's pushing 80s. buttons and it's getting attention. Oh, you know? dude, I would love that. I'd be all over that. Like, I don't know. It's so weird that, like, we can't even get away with, like, playful Play, you know what I mean? Play, right. Playful jokes anymore. It's like no, you can't. It's can't even play around. It's like mm -mm. even if like you're <laughs> supposed to be a villain on TV, like you can't. You still have to be like the line. It's like right. no, you're supposed to well, be hated. Well, I mean, yeah, be, you could be hated without being racist. Yeah, but it makes it easier. Yeah, let's say it <laughs> makes it so much easier, Steve. No. It's an extra level. I don't want to add extra layers. This is pro wrestling. Just make the guy racist. Boom, instant villain. Oh yeah, perfect. Look no at every, a look at everybody. Everybody unless you live in Alabama. Look at or everybody something. hated John Cena. He was like the nicest fucking guy in the world. Well, yeah, because it's John Cena. It's so like everyone hates John. Or what's his name? Tom how'd Brady. How'd you guys even see him though? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the one to say that. Yeah. So people would expect that. Uh. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm pretty upset about the fucking Trader Joe's thing. Oh, Trader Jose. I, I mean, like, Trader I don't even I don't even shop at Trader Joe's because I'm poor. But like, wait, wait, what 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 happened with Trader, Trader Joe's? Joe's isn't expensive. I'm, I'm just kidding. No, Trader I'm Joe's thinking of shit. Whole Foods. It's a, it's a oh, it's yeah, a low grade Whole Foods, right? Oh, well, yeah. Trader Joe's, cha They took they changed the names of their taco shells because they were they were called Trader Jose's. And someone fucking That's wrote funny. A, somebody wrote a blog about it, oh, and and started a petition. Oh my god! And they, they had something else that was like Italian noodles or something. Find that, a that hobby were, were like for Chinese fuck's sake! And they, yeah, they were called Trader Mings. <laughs> oh, and yeah. You know what? Come on! But like, come on! That's what I'm saying. But like, no, that's, the problem that's like is a like, playful little thing. That's like a fun thing. Yeah. Where Where do you get the like good who, noodles from? A Chinese guy named Ming. Where yeah. do you get the good tacos from? Yeah, like how a little fucking Jose. How no, little you do you have good, going you on? The good get... noodles from the Chinese spot with the Mexicans cooking them in the back. That's yep. exactly, yeah, that's right. That's... Yeah, but it's owned by an Asian. Yeah, yeah the Asians tell them what to do. Yeah, um, in Spanish. But no, it's just <laughs> it's just, that's always weird to me. I know it's funny, online. man. Yeah. It's it's great. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I love that surprise. I yeah, that. yeah. But um, no, it's just weird because everything that's happening right now, people want to take down race, racist like institutions and systems, and they're like, "We heard you, we got you. No more Trader Jose." It's like, yeah, that's what we were talking about right? yesterday. That's not what we what we said. You know right. what? We're gonna get rid of those blackface <laughs> episodes from the '80s. We hear you guys. Yeah. Like, we didn't say nothing about the Golden Girls. Right. Like, we're talking about yeah. the Just System. We got you. We got you. No more Trader Mings. Right. Like, <laughs> the fuck, guys. That's not what we're saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's. It's just so wild. I don't. I, I can't. Like I can't wrap my head around it. Really. It's and and like we talked about yesterday. It's happened so rapid too. It's like. Yeah, it was like, so quick. It, it went from it like, went so quick. Like so that that's why. And it's weird. It sounds like so, like such an old white dude thing to think or feel. Right. But I'm just like, what the fuck? like? I blinked, and all of a sudden you can't even fucking say half the shit that was in my vocabulary. Right. Well, it's, I mean, I disagree. I mean, it's, <laughs> um, but it's it's really. I mean. Not I mean, obviously, it's not that. I'm not. And, I, and I, like I, that. Like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I know, um, but you know, like, okay, even like that Facebook thing. I I get it. It like on uh, the algorithm, like, and on paper, it looks terrible. But I was I was clearly making a joke on something, right. right? Like, I can't even. I've literally been blocked of making a joke on social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's by, why by I mean, a computer. Well, Jesus, how does that feel? Goddamn technology. What does that thing know about jokes exactly <laughs> like there's no i there's there, I mean, you know what i mean like it, it can't read irony or well or sarcasm my, my bigger thing is like why are you still on facebook <laughs> <laughs> well technically though we're all on instagram which is also facebook facebook is for grandparents um, yeah my go to twitter like an adult and make whatever fucking jokes you want and everything would be fine is that where it's at should we just start live streaming on periscope and fucking probably is there no one on this thing so far uh, we got two. Hello, people. How are you? 
Mm. But this is see, that's because of Facebook. Like, I, none of my shit gets it, 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 it goes nowhere, it goes to nobody. Oh, yeah. Well, like, it, it doesn't show up on anyone's feed it, when I make posts, no one sees them anymore. Well, like but I think said, it's dude. also because of that thing. I got, yeah. I got like restricted. So, ever since then, like, literally, no one sees any of my stuff. Yeah. Well, like you said, dude, everyone's over 50 that's on Facebook now. So, yeah, like, they want, they want, so like, who pictures. the fuck is this? It they was want, they want pictures and videos of their grandkids and cat pictures. They don't give a fuck about us. And, and it was great. Terrible right wing. I used memes. to love it. It's like, it's just, it's, it's, it's not the same at all. Like, it used to be, I used to be able to get pretty good, I mean, pretty good news out, out of Facebook, like yeah. the way you do on Twitter. Mm. I used to get, like, you know, news stories, and then I, you know, I'd repost and, and make jokes and stuff. And, and, and it would, it was a good platform for any, anything any projects or anything that i would throw out but like now like it's just it's dead no one sees you know you know what this sounds like to me it's like fuck bro like why isn't anybody on myspace anymore like what happened <laughs> it's not as cool like when i first joined it yeah because things change man like i mean i've been but on- it's like okay but even if so we're stre- if we're streaming it I, I know i'm just fucking bitching about why no one <laughs> listens to our podcast but <laughs> it's like i'll stream it on uh, we'll stream it on youtube right now i should have fucking started a twitch account yeah, today we should do twitch, twitch we should have done better. that i think that's what I'm gonna, we'll start doing from now on mm. um <laughs> yeah facebook sucks <laughs> <laughs> yeah i haven't been on it my parents you know every time i hear mom my mom complain about anything it's always like oh face oh this person posted it on their face i was like oh my god <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why aren't you on Facebook? I'm like, that's what you just said earlier. Like, that's that's why I'm not. On yeah, like I can't. hard pass. Can't. I can't. Yeah. Like my aunts have Instagram. It's fine. They just like like my shit, but they don't look too much into it. But like, once my mom joins Instagram, yeah, yeah, I'm clean everything up. Yeah, I go to Bible study every Friday and drink water with my friends. <laughs> no, I'm jumping in that escape <laughs> pod. I'm deleting that pa- uh, that friggin' app and getting the fuck out. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should just get back on Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in a while. Twitter's fun. Uh, I forget it that I, I, I have, and since I don't open Twitter very often, I forget that I follow a bunch of porn stars. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, like, I'll open up Twitter and then I'm like, oh, that's a dick in an ass. <laughs> I'm at work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like I was just reading about politics, and the oh, next man. the next post is a dick in an ass. Yeah, just have just have a throwaway account where you just follow like, porn stars yeah. and look at Twitter in public, and people don't think you're a giant pervert. I know, but that's part of the reason why I haven't opened Twitter <laughs> because last time I did, I opened it. Yeah, there was like fucking just naked chicks and dicks and asses, and then yeah. and, it, what, and it, it was like all pervert. the porn. It was all the porn stuff like right up top. Yeah, and like as I was scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I, that's why I got off of Tumblr like years ago because I would go on oh, Tumblr, Tumblr and I would never follow any like porn things I literally, on there, but people would always reblock porn stuff. Yeah. So I'm in public, like in line at Starbucks, open it up and two people fucking. Yeah. Just like yo, yo. Yeah. Like, I, no, I literally no, only get I literally only use Tumblr for porn. Yeah. Or just because I was like, oh, well, this it's a it's like a fucking super mix of things, you know? Like I don't, <laughs> I'm like I don't even have to search. It's just cool shit. <laughs> See, I'm the old man here. I don't, I never use any of that shit. I don't, I know. I don't. You I've fucking never cave, used man. What yeah, you jack just, off with a magazine? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> you know, they're they're practically stone pages at this point. They're just. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> oh God, you got gotcha. me on that one. Gotcha. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I've been trying. Uh, yeah. Um. So, question: Since you guys have been hanging out with me more, has your why well, I thought we've been friends for years. We've been hanging out for a long well, time. Well, no, no, right no. Now. But I'm saying, like, before, before we started hanging out, like, more and more all the time. Like, what? Uh, do like, we hate you more? Yes. Yes. Do you consider me a beer snob? Like, do you think of me as a beer snob? No, like, no, no, no. no. Do you always worry about that, and when when you're in beer, and you know this now, because like you know what's good. So when people like, you yeah, know what, you know what's really refreshing. When you get to a point where you're like, "Fuck what other people think," yeah, I'm yeah. gonna do me. Yeah, yeah. I'm a beer snob. Kind of... Whatever, suck my dick. I like good beer. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, I'm a fucking weirdo because I like good beer. Like, yeah. fuck you. Drink your natty light and enjoy yourself. Or, I mean, look, go ahead and be a beer snob, but don't fucking talk shit when, like, yeah, when I want to drink like a Modelo. Yeah. You right. Know? Oh, I right. always get that shit. Yeah. Oh, you want? Oh, you must be. You must be thirsty. You're trying to hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like. I want to be able to hang tonight. I don't want to be fucking hammered after three yeah. beers. Yeah. Yeah, I dude, I I fell in love with uh, Miller High Life, and dude. then I found out that every brewer's like, oh yeah, dude, that's all we drink. High Life is the shit. And, yeah. I, and if, when I tell people those that, six, I was like, the, the six pack of like Bro, six, six dollars, cans. six dollars out the door. Yeah. Bro, when I go to the beach, I usually buy a twelve pack of Miller High Life. I just chill and drink those all day. Oh yeah, so those I, those will get you a good buzz too. Oh, they're fantastic. Yeah, and it tastes great every time. Yeah. Have you ever had a bad one? And I mean, maybe if you left it out in like the sun, uh, all day. hot but, one. <laughs> yeah, but if it's like you know, if you keep it cold and stuff, it's. Yeah, so what is your go-to since 
let me let me know what or tell me what your favorite like craft is and then what your favorite like kind what of what do you mean craft what do you mean craft i mean like independent beer. independent yeah you don't know the answer to that dude it's i mean also good is my favorite it, which just, one which beer of theirs yeah. mayberry right if you if you can give me top two mayberry um power plant power triple plant. ipa that triple oh is. my god is, every time it's every february like it always gets me so twisted it always though. cracks me up like when the first time me and you had power play uh power plant me and javi went to that beer festival and we got so fucked up that our fucking lift driver crashed <laughs> <laughs> our lift driver picked, we're fucked up in the back seat and this motherfucker like drove up on the curb i'm telling oh, you that, i'm telling you that guy was <laughs> in that festival with you i'm <laughs> I, telling you i know i was like steve was this guy at the party like, yeah like, he had yeah. to have been he had to have been drinking there i mean shit up when I was driving, I was the most irresponsible Lyft driver <laughs> when I was driving for Lyft. <laughs> like, I would legit, like, I turned it on, but yeah, coming out of bars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just, like, God. to take people home. You oh, piece God. of yeah. shit. I love you so much for that. No. Good man. Good man. Yeah. We need more. We need more Ryans in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with that kind of mentality, there'd be less, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic would be a lot lighter. I'll tell you that. <laughs> there won't be a lot very long no. um but yeah no uh for you know el segundo i it's funny because everyone knows i'm a huge el segundo fanboy i'm not shy about it i just their beers are, i mean there are a lot of great breweries that are fucking like small city what i'm drinking right now the amarillo gorilla one of my favorite ipas and you don't see a lot of beers that have you get that right here at the at highs what the liquor store by my house oh yeah yeah they have decent stuff there they yeah. have they have oh. uh beachwood small city but yeah. like you know, for for me, it's just like I just love a good bitter West Coast IPA. That's my favorite style. So yeah. no one to me, El yeah, Segundo that's, is that's my least favorite. I, I'm I'm into yeah. I'm into more of like a Citra, yeah, kind of, and the hazies, juicy IPAs. Uh, you yeah, like the hazies? I like still? the hazies. Still? I still like the hazies. I want to you know that my go-to is that Sierra Nevada hazy. I mean, oh, it's that see, one's that one never disappoints. And that's the thing. I I want to try and get you some like hype hazies to see what you like. And have you guys try them out and see what? Where, you where, think. where is the high pacey from? Like other half brewing in New York or Trillium or uh, uh, what's the other one? Monkish out here in Torrance. Their their shit sells out in seconds. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of really crazy hype hazies that like. I mean, look, I love hazies. I think they're fun. But what's a hype after, hazy? What's the difference? Well, it's like so like the that Sierra Nevada hazy. It's just. It's a run of the mill. It's fine. No trash talk on Sierra Nevada. This shit's solid. But it's, I'm saying but it's solid. It's, it's whatever. Like it's, a, it's, it's like it's it's always the same. It right. tastes fine. It, it, yeah, I like that one. I, I think it's refreshing. It's easy. No, to drink. it's great. I'm not trashing it at all. I'm just saying. But that's like you know you can buy it anywhere. But I'm, when I say hype, I say th- those that you have to go to the well, you like know, limited strictly brewery. strictly to the brewery. Gotcha. You have to like for Monkish. Um, it used to be they would you know it'd be like Tuesday afternoon and they would drop a post. Hey. We're going to sell, we're dropping this uh, two four packs or two like different um, beers today. Limit to four packs or per person. And they're like these crazy, like triple hazy IPAs or double hazies or like, because Monkish's hazy beers are like on another I've had, level. I've, I've had Monkish's oh, hazy. so good. They're, their shit is so expensive though. Oh, yeah. Like even at, four even bucks at four the brewery. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. like, no, it it's kind of like on the same par as like LA Ale Works. Um, no, well, I think LA, LA is like were, 20, 22 maybe. Yeah, for a four pack. Yeah, you're, you're looking at a solid twenty bucks for a four pack, yeah, which that's... it's. I mean, it, I, I, you got to understand though. You know, all the hops, how much it costs to make the beer. I, I, it do. Makes I, sense. No, I, I do understand. I get that. it. I but, do get that. But I'm an yeah. alcoholic. No, and, and, I, and that's I, the point. Like to the consumer, if you're walking into a Trader Joe's, you know, and 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 you go to see a wall of craft beer, if you don't know, you just see a wall of like labels and bottles and cans, and you're like, I don't know oh, what my. I want. And then you go fuck it. I'm gonna get this twelve pack of another high life. It's fucking ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Yeah, but you know, they're 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 still. I mean, they're killing it. There's a reason they're able to stay afloat with yeah, and but you, that much. You pay that money because, like, for me, I, I when you know, every time I buy something like this, I always know my my money's going to them, and I'm you know, and it's really good beer. Yeah. I, I'll I'll pay that extra money to have that good beer. Yeah, my dad is like you know super fucking Mexican. Like he's like he drinks his modelos all day every day. He's like, I know why you drink them, but like you know they're expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I know, Dad, but you know, which like, makes sense. I mean, it's, but he it's, drinks really good tequila. I'm like, well, yeah, you know, yeah, this this kind of the same thing. Tequila and tequila is something you can't fucking 
like cheap tequila. Ugh, I mean, the there's worst. a huge difference. Yeah, cheap it's tequila is why I can't drink tequila anymore. Man, I know. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Like, I know Patron's not not that great, but it's it, that one would be like you know what, Matt Patron Silver is a. Uh, it's that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like it's still it's this perfect go to. If it's, it's a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, and they give me a bottle. Yes. Hell yeah, chilled shots. Bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Nope. I'm dancing with someone's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's what i always say tequila makes me dance with moms right then you you drunkly watch it hey i'm fucking your mom tonight (laughs) (laughs) sorry have you guys ever been in a situation like that like like have you ever been hit on by like a like a much much older woman or something Mm -hmm. yes Yes. Maybe I'm not that handsome. It's never happened. To me. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the one, the one, the, wrong room. the one fantasy that's eluded me, uh, you know, as I work as a handyman, is my day job. I've nice. never had, a, yeah. I've never had a customer be like, "Oh, I'm just gonna squeeze in real quick and just like," <laughs> and I'm just like, "Oh, you, you want to? Okay." But I'd be such an idiot, like, uh, "Do you want me to just move?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, I've never had that happen, and I've been waiting, waiting. Yeah, I remember yeah. one time it happened to me, like when I was early 20s at this job. I'm gonna get a beer. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, this one patron. You need one? Uh, I'm good. She, uh, I, I, I knew her just because she was around for a, for a while, and then one day she came in and she asked for a hug. I'm like whatever, I gave her a hug, and then she, and then she, as like we were coming for the hug, and I gave her the hug. She said to me, she's like, she's like, you really are a tall glass of water, and mm. I was like, thank you, and she's like, and I'm thirsty. <laughs> and I was just like, slap your biceps. Uh, uh. Thank you, but no thank you and then she would always make comments like that to me like come on steven if i was 20 years younger like me and you i'm like it still wouldn't have happened she'd be like pound um, town baby no wait so, who was this when was this, <laughs> this was years ago there was like this older filipino woman oh would, oh like, filipino yeah would oh yeah dude like, filipinos are would constantly like down me. and i was not um you were not down not for not for that not for her no mm. no why not dude <laughs> I'll, sh- I'll, you guys wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be nice and leave it at that. Um, what? She wasn't an attractive woman. That's all. I'm yeah, saying. that's fair. That's yeah. fair. I didn't. They find usually her aren't. Right? I don't know. I, Filipino women are. Well, I, I'm not talking about Filipino women. No, <laughs> Just... <laughs> hold on now, Hitler. You said <laughs> Filipino. I'm saying I said this good. one woman was. I, mean, I love Filipino. I meant, saying, usually, I, mean, I meant if they're putting it out there, like they're not. They're probably oh, usually not sorry. attractive. <laughs> Fucking Stock City, bro. Oh yeah, Filipino women suck. Like, no, I didn't say no, that. I was saying that they're awesome. Whoa, whoa. Filipino women, you're right. They're pretty ugly. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the one thing I was worried about, and I make a contract. Uh, I didn't mean it that way, guys. Fuck. I'm gonna get canceled. You gotta have something to get canceled. <laughs> very true. <sighs> no, I'm very true. Actually, do, how is your podcast doing? Are you getting any like credibility at all? Yeah, like, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Yeah. And I had, I feel like I had a little credibility before that. Fuck you, Ryan. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you- <laughs> this is why we're friends, folks. Right, um, yeah. but no, I, you know, uh, it's it's doing well. We're getting more of an audience. Uh, I feel like I'm trying to a- a- attack more of the crowd where, because you know, a lot of these, um beer podcast it's always like two white dudes that are just like we're gonna drink this beer today we'll try it out yeah all right i smell this 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 and then, and then, and you fuck you dude you nailed it that's exactly what most like youtube channels yeah like, crap and, beer and channels. hey do your thing i'm not judging but at the same time like i you know what you gotta hear you another... should judge I... <laughs> that's exactly what we were talking about yesterday I how, do you, know. how do you get better <laughs> you we were also very people. drunk when you gave me that talk yeah, to be fair also a, a lot of slurred words in there yeah it's i like know npr interviewers doing beer <laughs> yeah that's exactly so it and that's cool but like smog city ipa it's just funny because like they were probably fucking nerds before like so they didn't really party right you know what i mean so like so that's why they're they're, oh. <laughs> they're in this lane they're like this is like you know like no, oh, like I'm a I'm a connoisseur. I can break. They're the down nerds these that are like, hey, we're gonna throw a kegger, and like, what the hell is this beer? Oh, this is not my Schwartz beer. That no, I, made? I don't. Yeah. I don't even want to say like they they didn't party because they probably could party. They just suck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, you just have no personality. You don't know how to talk to people. No one wants so to party. So, you're so full of yourself and think you're so smart and like all that. I'm a nerd for beer. It's like no, you're just fucking boring, bro. Like, <laughs> like, just stop. You know, oh, you're not man. just refined yeah. and distinguished. You're uh, boring and no one likes to be around you. Like, get a personality <laughs> yeah. and learn how to talk about things you love. You must like the office, too. <laughs> yeah. 
they have that on their dating profile. Yeah. Like, no, look, actually, I only want the Jim UK looking office, for my pants. The US oh, office. yeah. I will. Oh, it fuck. It, there it, it is. Stand up. Fuck there you it is. So hard. Anybody <laughs> who says it's, that. It's those fucking guys. Anybody who like, ever right, thinks man. that the UK office is better than the US office, go fuck yourself. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, like it's what just you like, but things. just know that you suck. Know that you're wrong. They just have to be different. But yeah, I, I felt like I want. I, I'm trying to do something like I don't want to be like that nerd that talks about like yeast, different yeasts, and what their abilities are. And yeah, we can do that. But I mean, I'd rather just you know shoot the shit with my friends, especially if they're brewers, because they have all these crazy stories. Like I was talking to Brian from Simsies, and he was telling me about this story how like yeah, he was broke as shit, and he would he was spending all of his time at the brew house at when he was working at Wix. And he would like basically turn the hot liquor tank into like a shower and just like showered and in, in the brewery and then like, slept on grain sacks sometimes. Wow. Like so, like that's that's the good Dedication. shit. That's what I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I want to yeah. talk about we, we can talk about fucking hot profiles all day, every day. That's fine. You do you. I, I'm not trying to be like the brewer's brewer. I'm trying to fucking bring yeah, that's, this. That's, there's uh, there's a reason Anthony Bourdain was as popular as he was. Yeah, and, for sure. He was know, so good at interviewing people. Yeah, he wasn't that just boring guy. Let's talk about the craftsmanship of food. How yeah. do you slice your carrots? Yeah. And before you boil them. Like, get, yeah, no. Like, just talk about that's something fucking, real. That's why I hate Guy Fieri, dude. <laughs> why like, do you? How uh, can bro, you hate Guy Fieri? Look, I used to hate Guy Fieri. I fucking hate this look, guy. Look, Listen, hold on. I'm going to let you say that. I used to hate Guy Fieri, too, so I started learning more about him. Oh, guy Fieri's a solid ass. He's such a good dude. Solid ass. But no, I want. Do I, wanna, I, I just don't want to watch a fat piece of shit with frosted tips. Just tell me how good something is. Oh, but, but that's the best. To watch that's a, a gimmick. Fat piece of shit. Talk about beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have frosted tips though. He uh, may look goofy, but I mean, it's he's a, a fucking goon, dude. Yeah, but like, it's, but it's, it's solid, his gimmick, dude. It's his gimmick. Guy. Hey, man, I watch that show. Sometimes I get high. I, I watch it. I can't. I can't get past what he fucking looks like. Like, I, I, you really, you can't get past I, that. I, no, I can't. I, I just, I'm like, I can't. I'm like, I can't stare at this fucking bro. He he's, coined Flavor Town. What more do you need? And that makes Flavor him cool Town. all of a sudden. I mean, that's Flavor man. Town. That's he's the that. biggest fucking dork I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> man. Dork, but he's entertaining, and, and that's why he overcompensates with these stupid fucking sunglasses, <laughs> that fucking those frosted tips, and his lame oh, fucking on. cars. Don't hate on the gimmick, man. Oh my it's god, it's his image now. Yeah, he's such, right. he's gonna be eighty. He he's gonna have the same not look. look like that. Yeah, he, he can't. He can't just like. No. Yeah, what a fucking nightmare. <laughs> If it works, it's getting, he's cashing you imagine? Them checks. This he's guy's cashing gonna, them checks he's, and he's, he's doing good look things so disgusting when he's like 80. He's going to he's gonna have those stupid... <laughs> he's going to be <laughs> old as shit. He's going to have a black fucking goatee. And... Oh, dude. I, I, I'd, I'd still watch whatever he's doing. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought you guys would be with me. I thought we were friends. Look, maybe a couple years ago, I would have been with you on Guy Fieri. Yeah, honestly, I can't, learn like, about I him more. Seri- like, I he's seriously, he's, I he's can't, a really like, good person. Yeah. The, the, I saw him once at Disney. He was a good dude. That, that, he dresses like an asshole, but he's a good. He's a good guy. No, it's his gimmick. Don't like, they have wardrobe in these fucking TV shows? Yes, couldn't, but he couldn't knows. They slap him sells. around and be like, "Hey, fuck face, maybe dye your hair right color." No, then he throws his <laughs> dick on the table. Like, who? Who are the people coming to see? Who's the star of this show? Who else you got next in line? Who's gonna take my place? Uh, Nobody. It's true. So the fuck up. I'm gonna wear what I wear. It's his and y'all roll the camera. He only got a big dick though because because he he ha- they gave him the show and then it somehow became successful. No, because he was doing things like people aren't just gonna give a show to a nobody. He already established himself in the food world. He was just a fucking weirdo who dressed weird. And so they're like, well, this guy's kind of never. Crazy. Let's put a camera on him. And then he just turned out to be a really good dude. Never in a million years would I ever thought that would have been a podcast defending Guy Fieri. <laughs> no. What has happened? Well, you're welcome. Fucking COVID nineteen. I know. It's a you ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yeah. You need to get all this hate out of your heart. <laughs> just just go to out. go to Boom. Flavor Town. Fuck God, stop it! <laughs> Flavor Town. It's Flavor Town. It's American. Fla- That's like, I've never been. I've never had anything he's ever. He made. coined flavor know. like you think you. Oh, act it's like- terrible to be honest. <laughs> What his restaurant? Didn't he have a restaurant like famous? I know he bad? has like a couple of restaurants. He had that one know. in fucking Vegas that ate shit. Yeah, it was like famously bad. Yeah, yeah it's, all right. it's like but in hey, the Orleans or something. Flavor Town, bro. Well, I Selfie mean, t-shirts, whatever. People, I look. People go to Applebee's. He and wears Friday. flames people on his keep, fucking shirts, dude. People keep Applebee's and Fridays in business for this long, so just, his <laughs> fucking restaurant went down. It's not a barometer of how good or bad his food is. People just eating what they're used to eating. I just love how I mean, angry you've Ryan been, gets. You've been just like getting upset. Look, fucking more be instead of like making fun of him for his fucking like restaurant going over. Why don't we make fun of all these dumb fucks that go to Fridays all the goddamn time? Who the fuck is going to Denny's right now hey, during listen. this coronavirus? Who is sitting in the parking lot and bro, under a gazebo eating? Don't Denny's? hate on Denny's, bro. I'm hating on Denny's. Dude, that only lumberjack time, slam, motherfucker. No. Come on, bro. Fuck you. The only time you should go to Denny's if it's after two a.m. and you're drunk. 
If you go to Denny's in the morning, Hold you're on. either coming after Hold church I mean, and you got kids who don't know any better, or you've made some wrong choices in your life. No, you take them to Arts District Brewing. Did you take the kids <laughs> oh, after there? Take them ski ball. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't eat anything. You're gonna watch mommy and daddy drink, and you guys go fuck uh, somebody else's dude, day up. Denny's is the shit, bro. Denny's is trash. It is not, bro. Like, Denny's is trash. D- Denny's, and then there's IHOP. I'm not an IHOP fan. They're both trash. I think IHOP waffle is trash. House. I think Denny. Okay, bro. Bro, I don't. But know like, there's not a waffle house here. on every fucking corner. I know. And Denny's delivers for free. Did you know that for shit? Free. For free. Yeah, because they just want to give it away. Like, fuck it. Someone, <laughs> somebody just take this bullshit. That like, was Ali. That was that was we perfect. Don't want it. I said we, we set you up for that slam dunk. Fuck. That was just a toss up. Boom. Shit, I don't know. I I, I think I I, I had an, I have a whole new love for Denny's, like because of all the time, <laughs> all the times that I spent in in San Diego with my friends. Yeah, they live around the corner from a Denny's. So you guys are going, oh, to, like, always oh going God, to Denny's, and morning. and at like Trashed. yeah, and, and then we get all fucked up. Yeah, but, drunk and then I, Denny's is good. That's and then I'd be like, ass. and then I'd be like, what? Oh shit, Denny's will still deliver at fucking two a.m. for Woo! free, bro. The people, the America, waitresses at Denny's who have to work that night shift all deserve Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, the, yes. You, absolutely. Dealing, dealing okay. With a I have a great, I have a great in there. Denny's story. <laughs> so, uh, so get, get, we, where the fuck did we come from? I think we, we went to we went out to see a band, and it was me, uh, Jason, and Garrett, you know, OG Humpcast trio. Yeah. Garrett, yep. And Garrett, you, Garrett, I, well, obviously, I haven't hung out with him in a fucking year because of. <laughs> No. <laughs> this pandemic but like when we do i mean we do humcast um he he will get trashed like real early mm. so he used to do it i mean he used to just slam down liquor and then be hammered <laughs> and then like and then he i mean then he, and then he become a fucking it was like taking care of a baby you know what yeah. i mean yeah, i've been too, there and and so this this one time this one time uh you know we we fucking i mean i almost had to like toss him into my car <laughs> and then uh, and he's like kind of flopping around the back seat we and we stop at denny's he's i'm starving i'm like i, I want to get denny's before i get home before we go home so we stop at denny's i have a cup of coffee and and fucking order an omelet or something and he's so fucked up we just throw him in another booth oh god <laughs> <laughs> we just threw him in another booth because he didn't want to stay in the car i kept telling him to just stay in the car yeah so jason and i are, sta- are sitting at a, at a table and we're just like this and he's he's behind me in the booth behind me yeah. and and uh you know we're eating we're talking or whatever and our waitress is like is he gonna be okay we're like yeah he just had too much to drink a beer i just leave him there <laughs> <laughs> she's like, all right fair enough and then yeah and she sees some shit and then and weird. then like and and i'm looking at jason and his head his face just goes like I, he just turns white like oh fucking no and like because garrett's Garrett popped up and just started puking onto the table. Oh no! And, and, and he was drinking these fuck because he he's a bartender, so he always make these weird fucking cocktails, mixing all kinds. It of makes shit. all kinds of bullshit, and it was bright. It looked like Nesquik. It was oh, like bright God. pink. Oh. And, it was, and, <laughs> and he just started throwing no. up on the table, and it's like, I mean, it's so much. And when he throws up, dude, he doesn't just. You know, spew. He projectile fucking like Vomited. he is bad. <laughs> like it, I mean, I've seen him just like <laughs> in mid conversation. Just he's like, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, and it's and it's a lot, dude. It's a lot. I'm talking like it sounds like somebody turned the bath on. Like it's just. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like you—you you didn't feel that coming. Like, <laughs> you just like, oh, excuse me yeah. for a second. No, <laughs> right. no, he like I was saying, he did it like, damn near like onto my shoes, but yeah. he's done that before. Just like, oh, yeah, we gotta get. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh man, and and who had to clean it up? Oh, the fucking poor waitress. Like, oh, you mother. God. Uh, we, and we you... stayed. We stayed and helped, and it was just. But she was just like, "It's okay." We, you know, I, I'm, we're just, so she's used to it. I yeah. felt fucking awful. This ain't my first day. <laughs> I yeah. felt yeah. so bad. <laughs> oh God, no. Denny's though. Yeah, that poor woman. Denny's is not trash, sir. It is trash. I'd rather go. Fuck to no, dude. Those buttermilk. Un-American. Those buttermilk panties in the fucking morning, bro. <laughs> buttermilk panties. Panties, panties bro. Jesus. Sounds like a girl with a yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No. <laughs> so moods over my hammies, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Yeah, they were great when I was a kid, and then I grew up. <laughs> Shut the fuck and up. Then, if you had a moon over my hammies right now, like I had one sober like a year ago, and I'm like, <laughs> come on, dude. But but Denny's ain't like Denny's ain't like In and Out though, where it's like where it's the same everywhere. Like some Denny's are trash. Some Denny's are fucking terrible. Yeah, there have been that's some problems. That's, that's 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 shows what kind of a trash place it is. You ever go to McDonald's and things taste different? No, it's supposed to be the same any restaurant you walk into. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, trash. Well, to be fair, not every Taco Bell is the same. You've, I've had some bad chicken at Taco Bell. You just you just shit your fucking ass and and yeah, and, <laughs> I did. threw everything up the other day because of Taco Bell. What I did, did you eat? I ate an old taco. <laughs> he ate a card taco that was hiding in his car a somewhere. Car. Oh, a taco, no, a taco that was in my car for about like four why? Hours. You didn't think like <laughs> this could be bad for me? Nope. <laughs> no, I do. I fucking love Taco Bell, bro. I've done that shit like, so many times. Oh fuck, I forgot it was here. This is dope. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was like a hard shell taco, but when I was eating it, it was soft. Oh, <laughs> oh that's the like, best. Was it was soggy? Soggy? Yeah, it was all soggy. Oh. So I was like, all right, this is good. And then I woke up like three hours later, like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. And yeah, it was it was a massacre. Oh fuck. Oh god. Like you knew. You knew it was coming. I didn't. Oh, oh look, a bit. Oh, there's two patties in it. I what? don't know why the fuck he keeps muting us. Look, we've probably been muted this whole fucking time. Is it muted? Is anyone? It was. I just unmuted it. Mother fuck. Oh, I don't miss. Oh, now we got two people watching. Hi. Hi, two people. I, I hope they people. agree Sorry. too. We were talking about how Denny's is trash. I mean, at least, the, at least the Denny's is an American institution. I will not have you <laughs> besmirch the good goddamn okay. name here, of Denny's. Okay, here's this. Uh, how do you guys feel about Norms? Are we not recording anything? Nothing? No. There's probably something wrong with the USB thing. Is it cut now? Because it looks like it cut. I was recording for 40 minutes and then it stopped. And then it stopped. Well, uh, I'll punch it in. It's okay. Let's just keep yeah. going. Uh, how, do, how do you guys feel about norms? I've never been. You honestly. always shit on norms. Uh, norms is gross. Norms is not that great. There's well, norms one... is on the same fucking level as Denny's. You guys just don't want to admit it. Norms is what? On the same level as Denny's. I thought norms would be better. Norms is trash too. I've never been to Norms. I've been there once. Man, I was really enjoying this conversation. Now, why, I'm, now I'm angry. It is hard to understand. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you trashing America right now? I'm not trashing. For America. fuck's sake, I'm Steve. Trashing. What do you want? Like, okay. Look, Look not, there, right. there is enough no, American. I, there is enough American the diners that are better than fucking. I can't handle this right now. Are you of kidding course, me? Of course, but we're, and, we're talking about chains here. Chains. Yeah, I can talk about other chains that I like. Like I like Taco Bell. That's a chain. That you know. Carl's Jr. Steve. in and out those chain <laughs> places that I'm cool you with. You can't do I this. Like. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. is garbage. Bro. Dude, that bacon western cheeseburger. Suck my dick you hate that. what? The bacon what is western happening? The, the bacon <laughs> what the fuck is happening? The bacon western cheeseburger is a, just a hold on a classic. Jesus Christ, we gotta figure some things out right now. We have because something there is something rotten in the state of Denmark here. You are fucking talking shit about Denny's yeah. and Norms. Mm -hmm. And you just said Carl Jr. is terrible. Carl Jr. is Oh, for fucks. No. I can't. What's yeah. happening? Is it recording? How do you, is it? No. Oh, Let him do him. Just, okay. just okay. because. Okay. okay. So, yeah. This, no, this is frustrating. Are you guys? I, I, I mean, will not stand for this. I'm, I'm sorry you guys like terrible food. Oh, for, to be fair, though, I don't like cheese, so I, I can kind of understand that argument. Yeah. So Everyone loves you to me not liking everything. cheese is just takes away from any kind of argument you have against food. Fuck Ordering you, quesadillas, I still have no cheese. I don't nachos, order. No I do cheese. not order quesadillas. Yeah, that with makes no your, that makes every you one order, of your opinions. I order nachos, nachos with, with no, no cheese. cheese. It's possible. It's, it's, not, it's the same not. shit without the cheese. The, na the name Nacho comes from Nacho cheese, you <sighs> asshole. That's fair. Dude, That's I'm, fair. I'm gonna fucking murder you today, dude. <laughs> you really? You gonna murder me? Mm -hmm. Really over that? Over that. My hate of Denny's is more valid than your hate of cheese. Yes. People who are no, lactose because... intolerant love cheese. Babies love cheese. True. Dogs love cheese. <laughs> they're babies. They don't know any better. Dogs love cheese. Dogs and they're do man's best you friend. I, I under, but there are we are out there. There are people that hate cheese. We're out there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Idiots. We, have, we, yeah. <laughs> we have we have a book club. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Book club, we're wrong. What is it? Yeah, <laughs> it's called food for dummies. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what we're talking about. Uh, fuck all. How do you hate? How do you say I hate America? You don't like cheese. You don't even like cheese from the American heartland, Wisconsin. Dude, what? It's like America came up with cheese. It's an old invention that's happened all America over. America made cheese better. 
<laughs> oh my god the french started and they got some hey, solid the two, people, the, the two people mm. one of you has to hey, don't you remember that commercial monterey jack pepper jack american shit yeah i dude. don't know don't quote me on that i don't know <laughs> i'm just gonna take it however i love you so much for the that. art of the cheeseburger is definitely an american thing that's true right. you won't even need a cheeseburger though? have a hamburger ryan still just as american no it's not yeah, yes it is it it, it Maybe it clogs my arteries a little less, but it's fine. It's fine. Man, a bacon cheddar cheeseburger, though, bro. Oh. The worst is when the worst is when I go to parties and they say, "Oh yeah, burgers." I'm like, "Awesome!" And they give me the per and as I chew into it. Oh, by the way, the uh, patties, yeah, they're injected with cheese. Yeah, that's just too much. Yeah, that's so a I'm just like, oh, much. you mother. And I'm already like, I can't be like. I've seen, I've seen videos of people making those burgers. I'm like, that's fucking you? gross. <laughs> yeah, it just looks bad. Why that you just, want a it's, how is that even appealing to you? Why you want a burger that busts in your mouth? <laughs> well, I don't understand. It's like an adult gushers. It's just a fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> well, it, it's like when you guys talk about nachos. Like, mm -hmm. I don't understand how a pile of chips and all that stuff, plus the fucking plastic looking cheese on top. How does that? How is that appealing to you? Because I look fucking gross. No, because yes, cheese, it does. It's melted cheese. It's it not looks like plastic. plastic. Not only that, the cheese helps hold all the toppings together. It's on not the lasagna, chip. motherfucker. It's a different thing. But the cheese helps hold all the toppings together. You ordered a bowl I, of just I'm mess. Just a, I'm just an agent of chaos, bro. Don't you be hating. Ordered a bowl of mess. <laughs> Chips yeah, chaos. Beans falling all over the place. It then, this isn't an infomercial. You We're like, <laughs> you ordered a fucking plate of mess. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded so funny to me. <laughs> you ordered a plate of mess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, that's what the cheese is there for uh, to hold everything on. together. Lasagna, Not all nachos thing. are made differently. Like if I go to a bar park and I order nachos and it's just those round chips with that shitty salty like nacho cheese, I fucking hate that. Like that's terrible. What, like the but it goes like back the, to the conversation about pizza. like that orange. Like, is it pizza without cheese? And no, I argue no. that it, we had this conversation and we <laughs> both agreed that I was right. We Only because of the taco agree. argument. Yeah, it's. A, I still think it's a valid argument. Defin by definition, you are right. Well, if you look at pizza from Italy, it's like the bread. It's a bunch of sauce and like three giant globs of cheese. But it's not it's like covered in cheese. I know, but it still has a cheese on it. That Mike, Mike it Montana pizza. says my daughter doesn't like cheese or tomato sauce. So she keeps. Well, I'm not going to talk shit about your daughter <laughs> because she's a child. That's just, that's just mean. <laughs> but you need to teach her better. We have standards, people. <laughs> Uh, oh, sweet mother of God. Yeah, okay, now I got the audio going. Oh, okay, again. fuck. Okay. Uh, that sucks. So I'm gonna so, have to. I'm gonna have to do some real surgery to try and fix this. Yeah, thing. yeah you can do it. You got the hands. Ah, uh, you can do it. Look at him with his stogie over there. Yeah, uh, I he, smoke stogies. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it was terrible. Because <laughs> I understood. <laughs> I smoke stogies. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, my heart. Mm. Good. I smoke stogies. <laughs> my father-in-law, <laughs> he gave me stogies. Yeah. Uh, no, I just because I'm a stud. No, so I see really. I, I love that idea of like the talk show hosts, like when they would have, you know, like you look at Dick Cavett, the Dick Cavett show, or like Johnny Carson, they would smoke cigarettes like as they're interviewing. I yeah. love that. Yeah, my favorite thing. That oh, was cool. cool. Cigarette box. On cigarettes. The desk. Cigarettes were cool, dude. Oh yeah, that was when like didn't Don Rickles break uh Johnny Carson's yeah, cigarette, cigarette box, box and he yeah. like <laughs> goes to the next studio and is like, Hey, did you break my <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then like Don Rickles is like, Oh everybody, Johnny Carson, like, why do you do that? They know who I am. <laughs> Don Rickles, everybody, and then just leaves. God, see, and I, I love that shit. I, I I wish you could kind of like bring that back for you, you know. I understand it's unhealthy people, but goddamn. Yeah. This this is something casual and nice about it. Yeah. I know. I get it. I'm also, a... can you like not make me laugh? Wanting <laughs> sorry, that <laughs> killed me. That Arnold quote was perfect. It was yeah. a perfect time. <laughs> My smoke's doggy. <laughs> I don't have to find a hideout. I don't like you, like you. <laughs> dude. That you cannot argue. Schwarzenegger, dude. Let's follow. Let's follow. He's, find that he's clip, the right? American dream. Let's find. Yeah, that. No literally. Than Arnold. You can't argue. Like, I mean. Bill Burr had a whole bit about it on his stand-up. Like, it's true. The guy's a fucking stud. Yeah. There yes. it is. There it is. 
Wait, can you can you play this though? Is this like not? Yeah, who cares? Uh, <laughs> I don't give a fuck as you said. Wait, we got no sponsors. <laughs> brought oh, to you by shit. brought to you by me undies. Oh wait, oh it's not even. Oh, we're gonna fuck everything. Oh, oh that'll work. A cigar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna, gonna share it on the right. uh, on the feed here. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Come on, Steve, <laughs> co-host it. No, but like I said, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> being the true american dream kid from what austria wherever the hell he's from coming to america to you know compete in bodybuilding then turning that into an action acting career then do a political career to become governor of california and he you know? fucked a kennedy come the fuck on he That's... fucked a lot more than just a kennedy he Ar arnold was back in the day slinging dick to everybody <laughs> When we, oh, were, dude. when we were first introduced so, to arnold I and pumping iron. pumping iron i was about yeah. to say that is history I'm still smoking Stogies. I love it. And he introduced me to something really good. And I know now the next question. Knowing you, <laughs> uh, being the interviewer that you are, digging in deep all the time, you will say now, what does your wife think about that? Fuck my Let wife. Let me ask you something. <laughs> when <laughs> my wife's father has introduced me to Stogies, what is she going to say? She's not going to say my father made a mistake because her father never makes a mistake. So therefore, it is okay. I can smoke stogies around her. I can smoke stogies in my house. First of all, because her father introduced me to stogies. And second of all, because I'm a stud. I'm bossy. Uh. I don't take no shit from anyone. Woo! I smoke my stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> <laughs> USA, USA, USA. Come on, dude. That makes me uh, fucking proud. Fucking baller. Ugh. I'm ballsy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. What? This is fun. This is awesome. Um, this is fun. This is like, I feel like, uh, some, I know we get too fucked up for these certain conversations, but. I'm glad we're actually recording. We're actually we recording have good conversations. I know. Fun. It's pretty fun. Um, well, you know, I think we've done like 10% beer and like 80% like everything. Yeah, who cares? That's, that's, that's great, though. That's, I mean, that's, the fun, that's, fun. that's the fun part about this. But at some point, though, if I don't know how, how long we've recorded this, this is a dodge uh, game. We're, we're almost at an hour. So, yeah, okay. The games last like three, four hours. Yeah, the we're fucking okay. dodge. The dodge game just started about an hour ago. So, we're probably like at what, any three? Okay. Yeah, because, well, yeah. Well, the, the, the one thing I, I do want to want to do at some point is if we. I did bring the the can of the Black is Beautiful, which those of you don't know, uh, Weathered Souls is a brewery. They started this. Those glasses are clean, campaign. Believe it or not, huh? Dude, but, those do not. Those look, those look like frack. Like that's the kind of shit Steve would do at his fraternity. Like those are clean. They, well, what? look at those. They things. they were in my car trunk forever, but they were clean. They were in they were in like a fucking. <laughs> but they're in your car trunk. Wait, what glasses? Those ones right there. Just rinse them off in the fucking. I can't see because there's a fucking computer. Right oh, here. you can't see them, but there's there's glasses right oh, there. Oh yeah, when I first came in, like all I saw was a pair of legs and the monitor. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I the, like that's the hottest shit I've ever seen. Like I walk up, I can't see your head past your monitor. That's hot shit. Oh. Do I need to leave you guys alone? Yeah. Together? yeah well, Shut up. You I said my... it was the hottest thing you've ever <laughs> seen. Ryan's legs. Awesome, you can only see the bottom half of Ryan. You can see his face. That's the hottest thing you've seen. I'm going to say the monitor. It's I'll huge. leave. I'll leave. <laughs> yeah, the monitor was covering my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't see you there. Yeah. Sorry about that. <sighs> but yeah, no, we'll try it. Like, where's this from? What, what, what brewery? So this one is from Ogopogo. Um, they're oh, yeah, that's right. There are a bunch of breweries that are taking. Uh, yeah, I'll go, I'll go down there in San Gabriel. Let right? me finish. Right. Let me finish this one, and then and then we'll we'll try the. Uh, yeah. We'll try the black is beautiful. Black is beautiful. Black and back and black. Did they make it because of everything that's been happening right yeah, now? Yeah. So basically, the so the only like requirement that they give you when you when you brew this beer um, is you have to be black. <laughs> like I don't care where you get them from. Whoever's <laughs> stirring, and take the picture. Got to be black. Yeah. No, um. It's strangely strangely enough, to... they took some people from Africa, they put them on a boat, and they brought them over. That's right. And now no, we have... No. I don't know. I don't know where we're going to go with that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. They, they um, forced, them, forced them to brew it. No, I'm just kidding. I need that fucking soundboard to have like a Sorry. disappointing Sorry. sound. Sorry, guys. Sorry, uh, guys. See, see, folks, it can happen to anybody. Yeah. That's right. I try, I try, I try, and sometimes <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Anyway, what what were you saying? Um, so, so basically, for one of the prerequisites oh, kind of donate. is that they have to donate everything yeah. to um, either like the Black Lives Matter, like to the I or, guess to or some charity, yeah, or some the charity way. that's like you know um, mm. bail for people that have been in incarcerated because of the oh, protest. Okay, okay. Mm. So like you have to donate something, like you ha or sorry everything. Otherwise, yeah. if you do it, 
kind of a dick move. And so what's happening yeah. right now, it's funny. Um, that's cool. Yeah, no, it's a great thing. That's, a lot of that's like a more, I mean, it's more. Kind of like what they were doing with that one beer when uh, everything burned down up north. Resilience. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. resilience. And you know yeah. what's fucked up about that is a lot of breweries did that and like. Kept the money. Kept a the money. bunch of them kept the money. Oh, uh, well, I'm sure. It sucks. It sucks. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah you know. Yeah. 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 It. <clears throat> Anyway, there's lots you can say about that place. <laughs> anyway, but, yeah, anyway, hey, hey. We'll, we'll move on. Got a mouthful about that place, <laughs> yeah. and I'm not the <laughs> only one. <laughs> oh! But I'm, uh, oh, we have the drum set right here. Come on, Ryan. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, you know, whores. The, <laughs> <laughs> those fools. Uh, Black, Black is beautiful is a very cool campaign. I think it's awesome. Um, but what I've what's been really disheartening in the beer community. And I'm talking to all you fucks out there that are doing this. That are people that are buying the beer from like hype, you know, those hype breweries that are selling them out and reselling, and reselling them, them and not donating shit. Mm -hmm. And for mm -hmm. those of you that do that, fuck you. Any kind You're of a like, selfish cunt. And I wish the worst on you. Yeah, any really of those do. resellers who do that shit all the fuck time. Fuck you. Yeah. Everything about you. Even with like sneakers uh, or anything like that. Like if the yeah. reseller or just like just stop. Just stop. Stupid. Yeah. Um you've never been up north, right? What do you mean? Like to how, like Santa Rosa. Like, I haven't been to Santa Rosa, but I've been to San Francisco, Sonoma County. No, no, not that far. Oh, yeah, dude, I have to go though. <laughs> Those it's breweries like, up there, I'm, t I'm there's no, some great ones. There's dude. something in the water up there that's like that. Have you heard of uh, have you heard of Hen House? Yes, Hen House yes, is great, crushing, great, and, great, and they're great. so fucking good. Don't you got like a little fucking like market over here called Hen House? That's a different Hen House. I actually had like one of the sketchiest. Hen House is actually a spots. strip club. Too. No, it's <laughs> one. It's, what? Get no, out of here! It's the one over there off of Peck. Hen House. Yeah, yeah, Hen House. By yeah. where Beto's studio used to be, or the I, studio Beto had used a very to be sketchy at. two a.m. Is it a strip pick club? up there. One. No, no, it's, no, a, it's fucking, a liquor store. Yeah. Oh, a lot of like shady shit goes. How do you, this is your city? Yeah, come on, bro. The fucking Beto's studio. Wait, you're West, oh. you're West Covina, right? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, West Covina. Come on, dude. I don't know about Hen House. It's a block over. What? Yeah. I, don't, I, I only know about the strip club. Yeah, because <laughs> I hit him up one night, like, oh, like uh, I was gonna try to come hang out, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm at the hen house. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is, and he's like, it's a liquor store. I'm like, you're just hanging out at a liquor store. You know what, dude? In <laughs> Mexico, like, no, across, everyone does that. He's like, no, I'm across the street. I'm like, okay, I'm like the fuck. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, he would hang out at some seedy areas. This guy, like, uh, I remember one time I went to meet him at uh, a at Jolly grab it real quick. at Jolly Jug. Yeah, yeah. sure. <clears throat> at Jolly Jug. Jolly Jug's not that bad. Jolly Jug is shady as fuck. Oh dude. yeah, I got. I, I that's got, where you go to. That's where you go when you give up on life. Like, that's where you. It. That's, that's where you. That's where you this. go when you want to fight somebody. Jolly yeah. Jug is where I went, where someone just gave me twenty dollars because they were being trying to be nice. Like I was there with somebody, we were standing there talking, and uh, someone had bought our drinks, so we never pulled our wallets out or anything. And then some guy just comes up between us and he stops. He's like, "Hey," we're like, "What?" And he bent down and he picked up a twenty off the floor. He's like, "Oh, you guys dropped this." And it's like, "Oh, sorry, thank you." Um, no, but that was nobody's money. No, we, we just said 20 that was on the floor between us, and we didn't notice. And the guy just handed it to us. Well, that was just a nice guy, yeah. That was my only experience was there. at Jolly Jug. No, uh, no, because we're probably gonna wrap up after this. Man, you, should, you, should, you should probably should rinse those out. The hose is right there, or do you want me to do it? Hose water, <clears throat> it's the secret elixir. That's why we haven't got corona. We grew up drinking hose, hose water, water yeah and playing outside fuck yeah dude like even to this day like i'll sit if you know uh if i don't have a pool or anything and it's fucking hot i'll just i'll just run myself under the hose and yeah i would just lay in the back of the grass as a kid yeah, and just, just like, pinch it off yeah. yeah it's like oh it's raining it's the shit yeah being poor growing up wasn't that bad no way <laughs> you know what this this you know it's it's been worn out over the years but this cement slab back here yeah used to be pretty slippery oh so you're slipping slide oh yeah. yeah yeah that was our slip and slide back just here just trying to crash into the wall uh yeah julian cracked his head open oh well <laughs> that explains a lot no <laughs> he always split his head open oh really well i mean like he was i mean it was almost once a year he had to get stitches in his head uh -huh. it was like he would i mean he, he's still kind of like he's just so much more ballsy than i uh, deny in anything especially i mean in skateboarding right now but it's like in, in anything he just always just fully commits yeah <laughs> so uh we wear a helmet yeah he cracked his head open in a fucking i think i told you about this it was like easter or something like that like yeah. we, were, we were getting ready to go to church and he decides to go out for a bike ride and he crashed into somebody's planter yeah and just came and back right fucking came back with his head split open yeah i mean it was 
gnarly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and he's bleeding all. <laughs> he's crying. <laughs> he's crying. Yo, speaking of, I don't know why that just popped in my head. Uh, that guy you should pull that video up. I mean, you were watching the other day where that, that woman hit the dude in the head with the shovel. What? Oh yeah. Uh, what? Oh God, it was. So I have funny. to see that. It was so oh, fucking. My, what funny. do I? What do I look up for that? I don't know. I remember you when the show. <laughs> dude gets hit in the head with a hammer. <laughs> Wait. No, the shovel. No oh, shovel. Oh God, it was so Sorry. funny. Wait, what is this? Just a stout? Yeah, it's a stout. Yeah, it oh, hey, big. look, we're on the front page. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, live now. It's still going. That's, That's good. Right. What 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 the fuck? Okay, it was it was a fight. It was like a redneck fight. Yeah, dude. it was like two dudes were trying to uh, jump. They were trying to jump somebody. You've been watching them conspiracy videos, Adrena Chrome. I no, I haven't. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck that is, bro. The global elite are taking kids. And oh, is that what it is? And scaring them and so there is adrenaline in them, and then they drain their blood and drink it, and so they can stay young. Because oh, okay. yeah, and hang out in basements of pizza parlors or something. I yeah, don't know. It's, it's all kinds of craziness. That wild shit. <laughs> I mean, you, I, if you're bored at two in the morning, throw one of them conspiracy documentaries it's the on. It's the best. I I, I, get, I understand why people can believe that shit because they're very convincing, but also like critical thinking is very important <laughs> skill that a lot of people don't have. I, nothing surprises me anymore. Yeah. I, like I'll watch this shit, I'll be fully convinced. Probably, <laughs> I know you probably would. <laughs> me, I, I watch about a form of entertainment, which is like, bitch, shut up. Some of the stuff I, I do feel is pretty. It's like I'm like I've been we've been hearing this for so long. Yeah, you're like. It's there's got to be some truth to it. Yes, right? there's pedophiles that exist in the world. That, Lizard people. They're not that, but they're not just like, oh, Hollywood is just a giant pedophile ring. No, the fucking manager at Enterprise Rent a Car is also a pedophile. But you ignore <laughs> that shit. Like, fuck out of here. Stuffing kids in rentals. Yeah, <laughs> go. Yeah, go look at Manager Bob's hard drive. You're gonna find some shit you don't want to see. That's true. Yeah, that is true. It's just it's just because those guys are in the spotlight that everyone wants to talk about it all the time. You know, rejection. We were just projecting. Yeah. Think so? <laughs> I was just like taking a bat. Like, yeah. They, they have, like, what do you mean? They have, they have like, the, the, the people in the public eye that are like, no, it's true. Harvey Weinstein. It's like, yeah, the manager at Hooters was probably fucking a lot of those waitresses too back in the day. You know, Absolutely. it's just like, yeah, guys always on. take advantage of women if they can. You yeah. Know? What are, so, you, you don't think the fucking guy at the strip club you go to every time? Like, yeah. Every day, you know, like the manager tested there? the merchandise? Right, like come a on. fucking piece of shit. Like, no, it's just Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood is the only place for pedophiles. Everybody else is mm. pure and clean, and that doesn't happen. Not in Middle America. Not in the Roll Tide South. <laughs> uh, Roll <Daniel>. Tide. <laughs> yeah. <All> right, <laughs> the cousin then. fucking South. Like, yeah, no, that never happened. They're all bi Bible godly people. Well, cheers, guys. Thank you guys for having me on today. Yeah, let's try this. I've had a lot of fun. Yeah, we're, why, are you, why are you trying to sign off our show? No, no, I'm, just, I'm saying cheers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sign <laughs> off, you fucks. <laughs> God, I can't just thank cheers, people Cheers, man. I'm trying to find... Hold on. I'm trying to find this. Because, like, two dudes are trying to jump, uh, like, the one dude girl's boyfriend, and she's, like, smoking a cigarette. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. to share it. Okay, yeah. so wait, what's the context here? Is it so just these two, I don't know. These two guys showed up to homie's house and they're trying to jump him and his girls there, but it's obviously very country. Um, yeah, it's 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 dope, dude. It's it's one of the dopest things in the world. No, yeah. ride or die. You need a girl like dude, this. Dude, <laughs> I need a woman like this. Yeah, just check, check find you. Shit. Yeah, find you one like this. She just calmly walks over. Just a little place. Just watch. Yeah. I get lost. Dude. Just, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Boom! Oh! <laughs> Damn, dude! Jordan! Holy wait, shit! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, listen. Oh, <laughs> oh, go back. Wait, listen, to wait, listen, wait. listen to the sound he makes, though. What is it? He comes running back. Hold on, hold on, wait. <laughs> like you're way too old to be making noises like that oh, when, you, not when you get hurt fucking steve, steve goes oh, yeah. if you have a hairline like that you should be making that noise yeah. you can't have a hairline like that and make that noise it's not like a five-year-old and they fall down and scrape their knee ah. what happened <laughs> Grown ass oh man got hit. Uh, yeah, but look at the way, look at how calm she was. Dude, like, it's so casual. She's she's, she's like still smoking a cigarette. She's yeah. like, oh, she's like, oh shit's go. Oh, Dude, all right. Not my watch there. Gangster right here. Not Bitch my whack. Oh, look at your punk ass. She even took a two steps back. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just like you, 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 you want it again? Yeah. You want it again? 
Yeah, that's right. Oh my that, god, that's right. She'll hit you again. <laughs> 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 I got <him> hard. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Uh, oh, that was good <sighs> <shit>. oh. <sighs> oh, man. Okay, so one of the things I did want to talk about before we get out of here, yeah, um, was like one of the that is thick. I was. The beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the things we were talking about last night when I was super fucked up, but I still kind of remember. Yeah. I was trying to tell Javi to be. I, I think. It, uh, I think it would be helpful if he he would be a little more selfish in his everyday life. And I'm like, I, I'm like, I, I don't think you understand the the liberation of like caring no. about yourself. Yeah, just saying no. Just no, and saying no. And I, yeah, I, I don't want to please just everybody. Say just say no, like, kids. Fucking no, man. I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know. It feels good. No. Yeah, I, I you know, I can imagine I imagine it does. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's a conversation. Being, it's a like conversation being, to be had because I, I, I you're like just you're, I mean, you're a really nice dude and I'm not saying but I feel like you get you get walked over. Oh yeah, that, oh, especially like women they know and I yeah. just like, okay. And yeah, that's what I mean. Is like you're always beckoning. You know, you know, you're always like. Oh, see, and that's and I was. This, this is the thing. This is what's frustrating. Ah, oh, frustrating. Yeah. Mm. Let's why talk is it? Let's why is it that I went out when I was a piece of shit in my younger twenties, and I was like fucking everybody and being a piece of shit and like not caring about feelings or like, hey, what the fuck are you still doing here? Did you go home, please? Like, yeah. I was a piece of shit back then. Yeah. But somehow, I I I had pull. But now that I'm older, I'm like, no, you know what? I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna like really try to like make that connection. I, I really put the effort to communicate and talk. No, well, no, that's important. No, it's because no, that's fuck. that's fine. These women are bloodhounds. They can smell that fuck. shit on you, they even though you didn't fear. do it anymore. Like they smell like, oh no, this fuck boy's still in there. I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, okay, look, because I I was like that too. I, I did the same thing, and I was fuck you, Steve, <laughs> for your honesty. No, I mean, it's, 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 that's what it is. They, they they've been dealing with it for as long as we've been doing is that it. it? So they do you know. think that, do you think they're trying to pry it out of him? No, no, they could just probably tell. We have towels that we don't know we give off, and they've dealt with this shit long. You deal with something true, long enough, you true, know, you know the true. flags, yeah, and you yeah. can see it. So even though you're not that guy anymore, they still probably see them tendencies. Like I've seen this douchebag and other douchebags before. <laughs> so he was, yeah, <laughs> she's like, I can smell that Hollister fucking cologne. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! Like <laughs> it was a post high school job, and he it's used fair. to wear pastel polos. I That's right, tell. with my collars up. That and Hollister the goddamn cologne sandals. Is still in there. Oh, dude, hey, say what you want. Those rainbow sandals are fucking comfortable. I got a, I, you know what? I, I got a free, I got two free pairs for doing this, uh, this, uh, marine event. They like, for some reason, it was what? like, it was like sponsored by rainbow sandals for some <laughs> reason. So I did, I did a, a VFW post, yeah. uh, for like this marine party and they gave us a bunch of free rainbow sandals. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I sold them. Well, how much, how much you them for? Uh, like fifty bucks each. Good man. Yeah, yeah. Make that profit. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, they're free. No yeah. problem with that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, comfortable though. I don't wear sandals unless I'm going. I mean, I'll buy a pair for like that summer. Yeah, and then I'll get rid of them. The beach, well, I have my I have my fucking Jesus Wadaches now, so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. You got yeah, them cook out. You, you got pull those. You pull those off pretty hard, dude. I gotta say. <laughs> I gotta say, I understand it's beaner shit. I just love it so very no, for much. For sure, yeah. they're comfortable. I, I, I could walk. I can follow a messiah all fucking day in those fucking sandals. I, like, I respect. Hey, I respect those better than than flip flops. I don't like. Yeah. I don't like the flip flops with the socks on. I'm sorry. I understand why people do it. I just think it's fucking weird. And I no, don't flip flops. Like no, flip like, flops no. with socks on. You can do side just, slides with socks. That's like um, yeah. That, like that's flip like flip flops. <sighs> any any kind of toe tong like nah. No, like that's socks no, off, you weirdo. Like, no, yeah. Like, yeah, unless it's... you got some busted ass feet, then you shouldn't be wearing sandals at all. That's the only way it's acceptable. Yeah. Then put your Yo, fucking foot some, in a shoe. <laughs> I have seen yeah. some people in some flip flops. I'm like, I don't know where the fuck you got them troll fucking yeah. cloppers. Look, to be fair though, I have troll feet. I just that with the Mexican no. huaraches, it covers a lot of it. Sure, it's I got pretty bad. Mirrors. I got pretty bad feet too. No, like, like I have like it's it are stupid. Why don't you just I'm get back here? Shit. It's not about pedicure. I just have like fucking a bunion on one end, and one's just pedicure. Giant like it is. It is pedicures. Yeah, I, I haven't. I've never true. done it, but I feel, I've done it once. It was awesome. I feel like I should, mm. and it would probably help. It's like these little probably. Asian women. They just like talk shit about you while they're doing. Oh, this yeah. fucking guy. Your feet probably smell like ass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this fucking guy. They're probably used to. They probably seen worse. <laughs> probably. This is like better than waxing dirty assholes. Like, <laughs> it's like feet any day. Uh, better than jacking people off at the massage parlor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I had 30 happy. I'm not, never. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was How gonna, dare you? I wish I you had a, yeah, she have a go fucking like, uh, an alarm a, a for a that. Like, a button. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I realized that she was starting to do I'm like, no, let's pull that back. <laughs> See, and you know what? See, and you know what bums me out? It's, I understand that people get offended by that. But those jokes are so funny. They're funny. Why can't, why we, can't, we, just, why can't we just joke around That's anymore? That's what I'm saying. No. I, 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 I endorse it, Steve. I say continue. <laughs> no. It's too late now. He can't walk it back. The magic's gone. It's anyway, now. well, my point was, I, like Steve and I have talked about this a lot. I think I think people mistake confidence with arrogance. Yeah. And we, I think all three of us have been probably like told that we were arrogant. Like, oh, I thought we were oh, sure. Yeah, you were so arrogant, arrogant at first. Arrogant. Like, no, I'm just, no. No, uh, I just know I'm good at something. Yeah, I'm just I'm uh. talking. And, there, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? Like, I, and that's what that's what I'm starting to realize, and and I'm noticing a lot is people tend to shame people for knowing that they're. There's nothing wrong with knowing you're good at yeah, something, and, and, like and, and, and 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 stating that you're good at it. You right. know, I mean, no, like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. I mean, I'm not going out saying like, yeah, I'm better than you, or I'm, I'm great at this. It's just like. I do well in social situations with complete strangers. Sure. You know, if I'm in a group setting, I know you and you bring me around a group of people, I can just mold That's in. That's true. And, and you're better at that than I am. With group of people. And it doesn't mean I'm just like being arrogant or trying to show off. It's just like, yo, I know how to fucking talk to people yeah. and not be a weirdo. Yeah. Not, just, not being a, in a living room or not be at a kitchen table with everybody and go sit on the fucking couch <laughs> and lay down. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I there forgot. Are, I, are, I was yeah. gonna talk about that. There uh, are a lot of people story. that are being seen right now. Um, they're like, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's um, just, but they're those wet fucking blankets, dude. And people like that. Yeah, yeah. And so when they see that, when they see that confidence in other people, they 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 think it's like fake or that right. you're just being arrogant. It's just like, no, I'm just being me. Like someone's here. Everybody has a story. Like let me find out what you're about. Sure. You know. And so just because, like, yeah, like you said, you're a wet napkin. And you don't know how to do that. Like it's not me. I'm not arrogant. I'm not cocky. Yeah. I'm just confident in who, who I am and how I know how to converse with people. And so it's just like, no, stop. Stop. <laughs> worry about getting a personality, learn how to talk to people, and then worry about what I'm doing. That's why I, it, it bothers me when I go on these dating apps and the girl's like, I just, I'm so awkward. Like, that's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that yeah. means you lack the, com the yeah, communication skills of a fucking grown and that's up. That's what we were talking about. Is how like anxiety has now become like a fucking, so, like so a personality trait. No, it's not it's a like, good like, no, thing. bitch, that's a disorder. Yeah. Like, like yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to go to therapy to get better the at thing, that. When I hear people say, like, oh my God, I have so much anxiety. I can't talk to somebody on the phone. Like, that's the easiest fucking way to talk to somebody i yeah. can roll my eyes if you say something stupid i'm just like oh this fucking bitch um but like oh no i get scared i can't order i can't call domino's and order a pizza because of my anxiety is like what what yeah when did that uh, become yeah, a thing? i don't understand i never understood why that's become like this whole thing like oh, oh my I'm god awkward guy i'm like how is that fucking appealing yeah. I don't want some awkward chick. Like, oh, is my is my everybody my wants to be Zoe Deschanel. One to one, bottom of the fourth. Oh, I see that. Nice. Uh, well, I hate Zoe Deschanel. I love Zoe I love her. I love I, Zoe Deschanel. I, she is, okay, I don't know. She but that is, she reeks of fakeness to me. No, I, don't, I, don't she, I, don't, I, don't, I think I think she's pretty because who I don't buy her gimmick. No, because who became who came before Zoe Deschanel? Who was that girl? Like the nerd girl? The nerd awkward quirky girl. I mean, one could mm. it could be an actor. I don't we don't know her personally. It could be. But it's just Awkward like when everyone's saying is like I'm. A, I mean, like like maybe Marilyn, a character like, from Buffy. Like Marilyn or Monroe kind of had that going on for her, but she was more like just the ditzy dummy, you know. You trying to compare Marilyn Monroe and Zoe Deschanel? No, I'm just Buffy. saying that, that there Holy was there shit. was there were were people no. before her that oh, yeah. that that played that right. fucking role, you know. Yeah, I can't think of like a nerdy like I can think of like that. But no. it's just like why like why stop trying to be this thing that you think people want and just be who the fuck you are like. I'm this weird, quirky, like yeah. fucking person. Like, no, nah, we went out. You were just boring. <laughs> like, <laughs> I asked you, like, what's your name? Like, yo, it's, it was like pulling teeth trying to talk to you. Like, what do you? That's what, the worst. Like, that's that not shit. quirky. That's that's bad social skills. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like it's it, it's it's not cute. You know, it's not. Yeah, one of the um, one of the things uh, I I won't mention who, but there was there was somebody I was seeing, I was seeing uh, uh, that I would always I, I'm like. I mean, to the point too, it was like they won't even order their own food. Oh, dude. oh and, I, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm not gonna that. fucking order Come for on. you. I'm yeah. like, you're a fucking adult. Yeah, get, like go yeah, out there. Yeah. You know, like we well, don't have to be mean about it. Like <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, you're an adult. Uh, you you pay bills. I'm not, I don't like your parents should have been mean about it. I don't speak for you. What <laughs> yeah, the fuck? Hundred yeah. percent. I'm not gonna fuck. do the job your parents should have done. Like, yeah. oh, look, you, grow up. That I mean, and that and that. Boom! Fucking nail oh, on the fight. head. That's a fight. 
but like that's I probably wouldn't no. say that. To oh them, yeah, for but sure. But like that's, that but that's, him, but that's one hundred percent what it is, right? Yeah. I'm doing I'm doing what your dad didn't fucking do. Yeah. Now I'm now I'm finishing your, your maybe parents. maybe your mom should have smacked you in the mouth one or two times. Like <laughs> maybe that's why I'm doing it for her. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No. I wish I had a shot. No. I wish you had some tequila shots for that. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen, a good. But there's nothing wrong with a good. We should do show. every time. Every. <laughs> that's the best. Every He's not trying to beat it over our heads. He's just trying to make a joke. That's it. <laughs> there should be something for like every offensive joke that gets. You gotta have some, a sound effect for yeah, that. Like, I know. Well, like my my board. I, well, it's a new computer, so I haven't I haven't put yeah, the new yeah. board. I'm so quirky and weird. I can't order my own food in restaurants. Like, no. Or call and make a You're doctor's incapable. appointment. You're incapable of living. You sound yeah. like a headache. Oh, like goddamn, my dog's more self reliant than you, bitch. Like, <laughs> Uh, Jesus, yeah. I've had look. I've gone on some dates where I've legit had better conversations with a dog. Like with Shiva, <laughs> I remember getting a phone call. My like, I just dog, came off on like the worst date. My roommate's dog Shiva. Like, yo, we can sit and chill and we can talk. And she don't respond, but she knows what I'm saying. She we feels have a good you. old time. Yeah, I've gone on some dates where I talk to someone. I'm like, am I speaking Spanish or Chinese? Because yeah. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, why you don't understand? Like, what I'm saying to you? I asked you. Do you like movies? And you told me your dad used to do commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> Which is a one hundred percent true. That did happen. And I'm just like, do you even do you even huh? need me for this conversation? Yeah, like what? What? All right. Yeah, I had this with you uh, last week, dude. This is it, it's yeah, it's thick. It's fantastic. Right. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's I mean, it's a I, thicky for sure. Well, this has uh, it was bourbon. I think it was was it aged. I think it might have been. But it's a pastry stout, so it's ten percent with cinnamon, coffee, and vanilla bean. Yeah, yeah the coffee is really yeah, good. it's a lot of flavor. Very, very good. Uh, so what the the brewery that came up with this was Weathered Souls Brewing out in San Antonio, Texas. San and if Antonio. any of you like, there are local liquor stores that have this. So if you see it when you buy it, you know that you, you know it's, it's going towards a cause. It's a great cause. So that's why I wanted to bring this out today because I wanted to you know. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so. I guess that's what I was saying. Well, because um, I don't know if you want to get into it, but you know, this, the, the, this last person you were talking to, mm-hmm. she what she cut you off today. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. I was confused what you're talking about. I'm like, what? Yes. Did you forget already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, you know, this girl I've been seeing. Like, this is the one. I, I thought like the thing is, I you know, I've been accused of, and it's true. Like, I would put very little effort into my relationships. I think, mm-hmm. all right, cool. Blah, blah, blah. But like this one, this girl that I've been talking to, like the past few, I've been trying to actually like make the effort to communicate and mm-hmm. be there and be like, hey, I'm here. Um, but this one, like I was really into because, you know, she was a movie nerd and she uh, was a singer and all this stuff. I was like, yeah. like, I was like, I mean, you know what happens when you don't date someone for a while and you meet like that girl, you're like, whoa, like, yeah. it just, I was like, I fell hard, yeah. I fell hard. And then, yeah, right before recording, she hadn't talked to me in like a day like after her birthday, and I was like, "Okay, this is kind of a weird sign." And then, yeah, sure enough, she's like, "You know, yeah. she gave me that whole thing like, I don't want you to think, you know, you're an amazing person, you're so wonderful." And, yeah. I, and I was like, oh, I, I you're, "You're not helping." But, but it doesn't. Oh, okay. But well, here's I the difference. That speech, like, uh, no, but here's like, the fuck. difference, Javi. Here's the difference, though. At least she didn't ghost you. She's adult enough to like True. break it off. True. Like I adult. appreciate yeah. that. I Instead of I was just gonna, ghosting yeah. and then just, at least yeah. yeah, at least you know. Here's what I think happened. I don't hate her. I'm making. No, that no I know. I know. Sure. It's yeah, just like sure. it's, it's not easy. It's dating. It's not easy. Look, people and like you got to think. She was probably going through. Let's say. I mean, not to put it, make it about myself, but <laughs> but I tend to do that. But it, it's uh, it, it was. I was in a similar situation where I was I was seeing somebody else that was very nice and and you know and and. You know, po- a possible candidate. Right. And then I met somebody that I, somebody else that I was that I was more into, and I didn't want to have to juggle, so I yeah, so yeah, I cut sense. one off. You know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. I mean, that's probably what she was going through. Right. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, it sucks. But it'll be like, fine. But it yeah. sucks. You were shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so like, I'm so pacing more, around. Well, the important as, thing to understand is that you weren't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like the, that that's the thought though that goes through your head yeah, yeah, yeah. i know and I it's know. the worst because like as you're know. having your fucking existential crisis and i should be laughing at you for panicking in your room hearing you go what the fuck where is this thing but i'm like standing outside pacing with a blunt like what the fuck like what the fuck what i what am i doing wrong yeah what why is it's the, not it's it but well, you know I mean, it's just it's, a bad, it's bad luck. things are hard things are very things hard right now we can't yeah. actually go meet in person yeah um so it's just so it's one of those things and it happens um 
but yeah, it's. Def- I think I'm gonna take a break from like the dating apps for a while. Yeah. It's gonna chill because I just. It's, like, it's been happening a lot for the past. I mean, you guys have seen every girl. I'm like, oh, hey, I found this girl. It's like two weeks later, it doesn't work. Or yeah. the last one with the that, beach house. That is the last big. one with the beach house with incredibly hard fucking life. That has been the one that's like, underprivileged. You remember that. the one I'm talking about? Oh yeah. You know, I, By the way, I'm not privileged, even though I went to private school, work at Burberry. I went to a fucking shit. Garth Brooks concert at a fucking drive-in. I know that's where my life went. I remember, like you guys, I think both of you got the same way when that because I, I purposely left that part out. Yeah, I mean, and now you brought up. Oh yeah, and I went to this Garth Brooks concert at a drive-in. And you went, wait, 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 what? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and both of you both. Went, oh, I'm sorry, you no, you went to what? what? Here, here, Did you fucking pay? No, this is this is why I <laughs> that was that was what I'm, I'm like. Tell me you didn't buy these. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, 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 she bought it. No, what bothered me? Her the friends most... bailed on her for a reason. Oh, because it's fucking Garth Brooks. Yeah, and also um, she has no fucking friends. Um, she has plenty of black friends that are very educated. Right, they aren't her friends. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're co well, That was Steve's first. Yeah. She does not have black friends. Yeah, so. no, not at all. Um, but my thing is when you told me Garth Brooks with her is because she's like this snob where she needs some things that are mentally stimulating and she can't watch oh. comedy because they're so beneath her and oh. she only watches documentaries and period pieces and everything is oh. so beneath her because it's not intellectually stimulating. But like, bitch, you you listen to Garth Brooks? <laughs> You're going to try to shit on like Mel Brooks comedy or any kind of comedies in general because it's not mentally stimulating enough for you? But you're going to Garth Brook concert. Hey, bro. Mr. Let's go on a beer run and then fuck my truck. That guy, <laughs> that guy's mentally stimulating. I haven't heard that song. Like, fuck out of here. It's, 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 the e- it's on the EP. It's like, oh, uh, fucking. God. One G-Man of the B sides. No, like, ugh. ugh. It's just, so. You lost all credibility. But what's funny though, that the one, that's the one that, of, of the recent one, that's the one that slaps it the most. It's just funny. I, I tolerated. You tolerate it too much. Oh my! I, I remember texting guys like, "Well, I'm like, you hey, texted us, you like, texted us oh a lot. Oh my god! You texted us a lot. We're like, I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> oh my god! Where are the bodies, Garth? <laughs> have you guys seen that valley? No, I haven't. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, tell me, this guy hasn't murdered people. That's what uh, uh, your mom's house has been talking about. <laughs> With this, yeah, so you're telling me about that. This is his first Facebook post ever. Right. Okay. So his he just one. he just joined social media about like a year ago, maybe two years ago. Funny. Yeah. And this is his first one. What the f- what the fuck? <laughs> no. No. It's just Ooh. who I am. This is like, like Julia, like, like, like Kevin Spacey, like post post rape yeah. allegations, and like he yeah, there's a video. body, at, there's oh. a body at his feet. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's some Ed Allan Poe shit. There's like a heartbeat in his fucking floorboards. He hears when he comes home and keeps him up at night. It's why he talks like no one's that happy. No, and it's just it's oh so God. disingenuous. The fucking yeah, uh, it just comes out. Think of it as a conversation. Well, yeah, it's like he definitely yeah. rages out when the cameras are. He probably off. cranked one out so well, hardcore like to himself after that. Right? He literally said, "I like that." I was like, "Oh, uh, I yeah. can imagine all kinds of." I was like, "I like that." I like that. <laughs> How old are you again? Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> by the way, by the way, dude, Donald Trump saying Ghislaine <laughs> Maxwell, he wishes her well, Boro. What are, that what, bitch? What needs are we to be fucking twenty four hour? You, you, you she's think, dead by tomorrow morning. You think so? Oh, no, tomorrow she's, morning. She's probably gonna. Die I'm surprised she's not dead yet. Nah, I have a little. I have a little surprise. There, there are CIA. Before, dude, well, don't you? There are CIA. Didn't get dudes. any kind of deposition, like, dude. I read this thing about how she went missing for like two. Oh years. yeah, she just took off or some shit. Like, they, and they like couldn't find her for like two. Oh yeah, dude. years. Because you got to imagine how deep that web goes. Like there are already people outside of, in a van listening to us talking right now. Well, already, let's, they already be, heard let's be real. Let's be real. If you got money, you can do whatever the fuck you yeah, want. And if you want to send somebody to shut disappear. up, I will not turn that down. I will shut my fucking mouth. Yeah, you, if you're start. rich, you got cash, like, yo, I'm going to get a little charter plane down here. I'll shut Don't say nothing. Yeah, listen. Cash, it, you know, if you shut to my front door, like, hey, man, I heard your podcast with Ryan D and Steve. And listen, man, um, he said some really yeah, the really shit. But that's, I'm going to give you $10,000. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, wait, Ryan, you're you're, uh, you're safe though because no one listens to this podcast. You don't know that. Man. It's Facebook, <laughs> YouTube. They're watching. Yeah, Facebook definitely not. Okay, uh, let's watch grabbing. this fucking game, bro. Come yeah, on, let's do it. you want to you want to go with us to, to watch it? Where are you going? 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 My place. Oh, your place. Or do you want to watch it here? Oh, we can stream it here. Oh, oh I don't watch it. I'll take it off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I can put it on here. All right. Well, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Enough of that. Yeah, All right. I'm pretty sure the kids are downstairs. Uh, yeah, I feel bad. Yeah. I told yeah. Matt I was going to come over. But... 
Stodgers. I told him I was going to bring beer, but uh, fuck it. I told my mom I was coming, damn it. Wow. And they give me shit. Uh, well, you know, what? I do it all the time. I feel. Why do you want to talk to me? Oh my god, yeah. my mom is on some next level <laughs> fucking clingy, clingy like, dude. She is been stir crazy. <laughs> but she's no, the she's, all she's had the great kids been around. Yeah, she's that's been, true. So, yeah. so that's why. So like, I do. I swear to God, it happens all the time. Like my grandma. I mean, for those who are listening or watching that don't know, I live with my grandparents. Steve rents a room for my mom. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> my grandma will come in and she'll be like, have you called your mom? And I'm like, no. She's like, okay, well, she wants you to call her. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. why hasn't she texted me? Yeah. Why, what, what, Latino, because Latino you should just know that. and want to call me. Yeah, I like, shouldn't have to be the one that always calls you, Brian. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah, that's. I'm like, mom, I, I've been dealing with, with too many crazy bitches in my life already. Like, I don't, I don't need, need you. Another one. I don't need another one. It's funny. Chill, because it, it only, like, I know that when they're coming, it's because there's long stretches of, like, the van is about to come by. And yeah. And you're right. It is that. And yeah. She gets lonely. <laughs> Nobody wants me. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to me. And then it's just like, yeah, it just comes out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, totally that. Well, since we're gonna stay here, fuck it, we, we'll go a few more minutes. But um, yeah, the <laughs> she's yeah she's been on some next level. And then like you, I, I swear to, I called her out on this too. She's like, I called you so many times, oh and then God, I was God, like, was when? Yeah. I'm like, when? Yeah. What? And she's like, yeah, well, I called you. Ago? I called you on this day. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you didn't. She and she was like, I'm fine. And so she screen grabs. I have one missed call. Yeah. From like an entire week, and oh, she and she, and she, like, well, and, wait. she and she's like, I've been calling you. I've called you so many times, and I'm like, no, you didn't. You called once. I didn't answer, and then I forgot to call you back. And then I'm like, and then in your mind, you thought I was ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's a mom thing. Is like the same thing with if, if if my mom texts me now and respond like within like an hour, she will call me, and I have to answer. So if I don't answer, she will fucking go nuts. And call the National Guard to find me. I think she's crazy. Um, That's just the next thing. Yeah. yeah well, See, my mom is worse because, like, she'll call me and I'll be busy and I don't answer. And then I'll call her back and she'll never answer. And then I'll call yeah. and she'll never respond. Then I'll text me, like, yo, is everything okay? Can't talk right now. Like, yeah. you, you just called me. Like, <laughs> what's happening? Ah. Like, you just called me and now you're just in But then she'll, get call, but then she'll call you all worried, right? Yeah, like, why did you call me back? <laughs> I told you three times. You didn't answer. And a mom is the same. What are, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay, what was I getting to? So we, we kept going off. off. The, okay, <laughs> we, the thing what I was talking about was, okay, the, yeah, the, dis, the difference between uh, arrogance and confidence, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and the, the ability to, first of all, you, you were talking about how your opinion doesn't matter because X, X, and Y, whatever. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. And that... I think is really important. Like, I, I think we need to dig on that because because your opinion does fucking uh -huh. matter. And and just because everyone gets on this fucking bandwagon to think that that their opinion is right, no, doesn't mean shit. Because everyone has an opinion, everyone has a right to that opinion, and sure. you can, you can oppose everyone else's argument. Sure. And I and you have that right to do that, and you should be empowered to do that. But like, wait, okay, my thing is, I feel. If for certain topics, I can't speak of it because it's not my fucking world. Like, what the fuck do I know? You know, so who the matter. hell am I to criticize? It? In, in in entertainment or, or any in any sort of industry where you have where you are producing something and you have a consumer, the consumer has every fucking right to complain about it. It's a valid point. I kick it. Yeah. yeah, I just choose not to. Let's go. All right. <laughs> but you how do you how do how do you feel like you're not allowed to? You feel like because like oh I don't. Oh, because come on, I, I it's true right though. To you're not allowed to. It. Not in today's climate. No, you are. Embrace it. Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. shitty. It's fun. <laughs> I, I'm I shitty already. Shitty. I don't need more help for that. Don't I don't be, need, I need don't more be help like that. those like white Karens on Yelp. Like they only get, I asked for napkins and they only gave me one. No, that's that's a whole level of star review. Yeah, of course. Don't be that. But like. It, it, it's weird because I, I get I get it I understand where you're coming from like I took like especially like grow I mean look we were kind of we were raised a little similarly too so you you don't want to be a burden on people yeah sure you yeah. don't want to be a thorn in anyone's side like right. you know you were taught to fucking just stand aside don't fucking bother adults are talking right right yeah. I don't know how to butcher a cow but I can tell someone if their burger sucks <laughs> yeah. you know 
I don't know how to do that shit. I'm like, yeah. yo, this burger is dry and overcooked. Like, what do you know yeah. about the meat industry? Fucking nothing. Yeah. But I know this burger didn't taste good. Yeah. I, I just think there are a lot of nuances. It's not just like simple as a burger, you know. It's it's just but it's, 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 there's people with feelings sure. and shit. Well, the difference with you know, okay, and I don't want to like, hurt anyone. No feelings, one's doing you know? anything to try to hurt you. Like right. I said, you're not going out of your way just to be an asshole. But if like somebody does something that like is something that you don't agree with or something that affect like if I said any kind of art, anyone like can put out. I mean, they put out movies every year, and you can criticize that movie. And you watch it. You paid for that. You watched it, and then you still have a right to voice your opinion on that movie, right, wrong, or indifferent, like right. how you felt about it, you know? And so it's like that with a lot of things in life. As long as you're not just trying to be a hurtful asshole, you voicing your opinion on something is, is fine. Or be hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's – but that's – but see, no, I I agree with you because, like, I've always been – I always love talking shit. It's one of my favorite things, and it's like – so, like, I'm going to – you know, I talk a lot of shit, but it's just something, like, I do it for fun. I don't really want to hurt anyone's feelings or something like that, so – yeah, there's especially yeah, with other things like that. Well, so. that but, and then, but then there are there are opinions you can have that even even if they are like legit opinions, like in today's climate, you don't want. I don't want to get but in here's that the thing. fucking you Twitter, care, that Twitter tornado. Bobby, you care more about other people's feelings than you do about your own. And Sometimes, no, absolutely, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Well, a couple days ago, when you texted about like the interview you had, well, first thing we're like, fuck yeah, I get it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. get that job. And then your first response to that was like, this other person might be mad at me or sad that I might leave. And it's like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> like that, she has yeah, like that yeah. person has nothing to do yeah. about your life and your job. Like yeah. you should and, not and, be worried and it's because a huge your coworker. It's a huge be, opportunity for you. And and if she really cared about you, she'd be happy. She'd be I happy know she, she would be. She but like be. the fact that your 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 feelings went there, like this person might be disappointed because I won't work with them anymore. And it's like that that, that should not matter. Yeah, you can still care about the person. You guys can still be friends. But the only thing that yeah. should matter is you. You know, pushing yourself and you moving on and growing, and not if they're going to be sad because you aren't around anymore. If they're really sad because you're not around anymore, they're not your real friend. Right? No, I, I, I think she's she'll be supportive. I just, you know, I just, I that's I guess that's where my, my mind goes. I, I know. Worry about, saying, like, I worry about my friends. I know. We worry about you too. We worry about our friend, <laughs> but we're never going to do anything. This where a we're going to like. What's like no, I'm just saying. Well, we're not going to put our own. <laughs> I just got this for good happiness. These good conversations to be had. I don't. I'm, no, no, I don't mean true. to put it's you fair. on the spot. I just. I, 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 I wanted. To we talk want the about. best for you. That's all we want. We want the best for you. We know where you want to go, and like these are the steps you need to take. But it's just like we don't want you to keep worrying about like other people. Oh yeah, um, I mean, at that's... your current job. That might be disappointing if you're leaving. It's like, mm, yeah. no, fuck that. Get yours. Yeah, and that, that, goes, yours. that goes into the whole thing I was trying to say last night, too. I know it's fucked up, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you know, I was talking about like like knowing your self worth, you know, like yeah. knowing what you're worth and knowing that you have the ability and capability to live without these other people drives them crazy, right? Like, because they're so fucking codependent and, and they have all these, these insecurities sure. and issues that, that they're like, they need you. But the fact that you can continue without them. Is what makes them nuts. Yeah. Oh my god. Because people who actually people who actually <laughs> care about you want show. the best and want you what? to keep going uh, forward and moving up. Yeah, you know, know. anyone who wants to try to hold you back and keep you at their <laughs> level, they're not your real fucking friend. Yeah. That's why we get so frustrated. We're like, fuck no, dude. Like, move on. You're yeah. better than that place, and you deserve more. <laughs> Which is exactly why I get so I get so irritated with with talkers. Talkers are not doers. You know what I mean? Right, right. It's like we talked about that that Kevin Smith that Kevin Smith interview where he talks about you know surround yourself with not why people but why not why people. Not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like exact. I'm like, why dude, one hundred percent. Yeah. You know, yeah. Why not? Like, fucking do it. Do it. Do, do, it. do it. Quit talking about it. The more and the more people talk about it, the more frustrated and irritated I get because I'm like, I'm like, okay, we're having this, and I'll call it out. I'll just yeah, be yeah. like, we're having this conversation again. You're not gonna fucking do it, and then we're gonna have this again next week. Right. Right. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and and then they're like, oh well, you don't have to be so fucking rude about it. Well, they quit <laughs> fucking talking about it. Yeah. Right. Prove me wrong. That's yeah, what right. I'm trying to tell you to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, once I saw that spot, I saw the post for a brewer. I'm like, I want to. Yeah. I had right away. I sent the email there. Like, so we'll see. I mean, we'll see. Oh, I think fun. you got it, man. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, that's not, hopefully that none of, nobody from the brewery sees this. I, 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 I have. Thank you. Watch this. I know. I have, and you I, didn't say anything. I was the one talking yeah. shit. We all going to do. Yeah. I have faith in you. I think. I think. Thank you. I appreciate and that. I, I, I think you have. Uh, I think you're ambitious and you have the integrity to take that job. Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, we'll see what happens. I, I hope I got it. That'd be awesome. Okay. We'll wrap this. Uh, Real friendship. Woo! <laughs>
Love you guys. Thank this was fun. Guys. Happy birthday, thank Steve. You. Happy birthday, man. Yeah, thank Love you. Love you, dude. Uh, you I too. have something for you on the way, so I, may, I think I might. You guys didn't have to give me shit. I, I know, but I, I did. But uh, I, I think I might wait to uh, give it to you until next week. All right. On the podcast, maybe. All right. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's it. That's the show. I, I guess I'm just gonna have to extract the audio from this fucking thing because uh, <laughs> it, it kept fucking up. Uh, um, thank you guys for watching. Listen, we got nobody here now. But uh, patreoncom slash humpcast. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube page. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be on Facebook anymore. Uh, <laughs> find us on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be on Twitch next week. Yeah. Uh, find us on Twitch. It will be either me or. Uh, I hit the mics page, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try and stick to the same trend, uh, but fuck it. Patreon.com slash hit the mics, donate, become a patron, uh, and check out the new fucking promo video that we did. It was fun. It's on my Instagram. Steve and I worked really hard on it, and uh, we have gotten no gratification <laughs> for it. <laughs> that's comedy in 2020, dude. Uh, all right. Uh, that's it. Uh, you guys got anything else to say? Uh, no. Follow me on Instagram at Hobby Brews. I need the followers to there feel gratified for what I do. Yeah, you know? check out his Hobby podcast on Check out his podcast. Hop yeah, Hop Delay. Jeez, uh, I'm terrible at this. Uh, HopDelay.com uh, podcasts. All of those shows are there. Um, we have some really cool guests. I just did. Uh, we just posted uh, Brian Herbertson. Uh, we'll be talking to some really cool people I'm really excited about. Um, in the beer industry. Um, it's a lot of fun if you kind of enjoy this kind of format where we just kind of talk shit about, you know, what's going on, you know, goings on in beer and in terms of like, you know, it's a brewer or a beer seller or someone that's, you know, in beer and we talk about their stories. It's a lot of fun. I It's one of my favorite things that I do. And uh, check it out if you have time. <laughs> so well, we got a comment right before we right before we're, we're heading out. Uh, Mike Montana. I was picking my nose uh, uh, and he, he noticed. So, uh, <laughs> what do you say? They get for gold over there, he Ryan. Said, he said, "Hey, Ryan, your next move should be you should be to use multi cameras. So when you need to pick a winner, you can change the view." Ah, uh, <laughs> fair point. Yo, uh, we don't hide anything around here. You're gonna get I all of us. Fuck. Everyone picks their nose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm all sly over here in the corner, like while you guys are talking. Uh, I want to do multi camera stuff. We need an intern. But for that, we need followers. We uh -huh. need we need an incentive. So uh, we need somebody. We do need somebody to actually get behind the key, to do all this shit that I'm doing, so that I can do this yeah. and somebody else can do that. But uh, we'll get yeah, there eventually. Thank you guys again. Thanks, Mike. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>